and welcome to Stabby McStabby Lawhammer. <laughs> 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 Ah, <laughs> if you weren't with us last week, you may not be aware of just how stabby things might be about to get. But before we get to that, there's a couple of things that we'd like to say. Uh, number one, I have literally no idea how this episode's going to go at all. And by that, I mean quite literally no idea in the slightest. Sorry, I thought you were catching my attention. No idea in the slightest. This could go very, very stabby. This could go... Very badly for some people. It could go very well. I'm sure we'll find out. Ah, uh, looking forward to this one. But before we go, I've got a couple of things to say. Number one, if you missed it last week, and I have no idea how you possibly could have, given just how many times I said the word Dark Deeds, Dark Deeds is now available for pre-purchase over on Modifius's website. If you want to know more about Dark Deeds, we've got some streams already up over in Rookery Publications. It's a game from Warhammer Legends. Andy Chambers. Mark Gibbons, and of course, from three of the good folks inside this room right now, which, as I recall from last week, does not include me. That's me. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. 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 I did the deeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So, from three of the lovely folks inside <laughs> this room, if you would like to support us, I cannot express how much of a difference that makes for us. You can go and check out Modifius's website right now. If you're watching this video later, as in not live, we will have links down in the description of this video. So, go down there, click on links either the UK or US hub, and order yourself a copy, and we will be the happiest little low hammerers that ever low hammered. Right, so <laughs> that's that. We also have um, a pretty good stream coming up uh, on Rookery Publications on Saturday, which I do think is worth mentioning. So I'm going to pass over to the ever beautiful Lindsay Law. Thank you. This weekend on Saturday I am talking to Andy Law about planning the game as a GM so we'll be talking about how he preps for sessions any tips and tricks that he has um, today he was listening to the Game of Thrones soundtrack not to alarm anyone <laughs> just for your information and we'll find out more on Saturday it is our last episode on Saturday before we take a mid-season break because um, we've got a few weeks off and then we'll be back on the 27th of April um, interviewing young Matthew Esser more on that later. Indeed. It's also worth noting that during our mid-season break, we'll also be throwing a couple of extra super special masterclasses, which are going to be fun. Andy's going to be doing one. I'm going to be doing one. One about adventure building on Andy's side on my one. I've already forgotten what it was. Clearly incredibly important to me. So I'm super looking forward to that. That's for the reason, Rook patrons. I'm on the ball. Oh, yeah. Stuffing things. <laughs> oh yeah, stopping things. Um, so there's that. It's also worth noting that this Sunday we have Sunday, more beards Sunday, Sunday. and we are yeah. doing it on, I believe, Go Trek and Felix. Correct. Um, who I think won by 1% over Altdorf. So that's going to be super, super fun, particularly because I do believe at least one of those has perhaps moved through our streams at one point. You may have noticed them shouting away back in the past in one of our flashback episodes. Very much looking forward to diving into that with Sotech. So that's this Sunday at 4 p.m. Or if you're watching this later, that will be over on Sotex channels. So do go check out Lord Master Sotex channels if you want to watch that one. Right, that's all of um, my touting done. <coughs> my shilling. Um, also, dark deeds! Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that all done. Uh, the first one is, has anybody managed to hit one of their short-term goals? I'm no. imagining not from last to die, to get to stab a PC. Is that one of your short-term goals? It still hasn't happened. It still hasn't happened, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. No, I, uh, I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, it's a good one. Let me change it to <laughs> stab a PC. <laughs> stab PC! <laughs> Sorry, I have to do it for my 50 XP. <laughs> <laughs> Greater good. Greater yeah. good. <laughs> it's one fate point to 50 XP. That's the conversion. Yeah, that's it just the, doesn't yeah. have to be mine. <laughs> ah, you found a way wow. to scam the system. <laughs> wow. I uh, like it. Lisk's own game the game. Yeah, 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 yeah game the yeah. system. Wow. Hoisted by your own batard. So it looks like... <laughs> <laughs> the whole point of that batard is I'm not gaming the system. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> of a horror game. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I trust that means uh, no short term ambitions no. um, managed to be completed. Oh, yes. We need to register a new one because yes. of achievement last week. Um, it has been suggested that getting recognised by the Hellstein finally might be an entertaining one to try. The head of the Hellsteins. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not the guy that stabbed her. Not Love it. I think that's a great like, idea. Important. I mean, just, you know, another one might be prevent a PC from being stabbed. No. <laughs> I'm sitting on you, that's hardly gonna happen. <laughs> Get in the way. Uh, I'm looking forward to the fun I'm not from you this week. <laughs> Stop birdie. I ups. <laughs> I ups my belly, basically. Just, <laughs> Just for this moment. What <laughs> thirsty. It's to help you. <laughs> um, so that just leads us to XP for last week. Last week we actually did some pretty important stuff. We found that one of the city's officials, the good old Graf's champion, uh, was under the, let's say, influence of a spell. And a rather nasty spell at that, says mm. poor Gerhardt, sitting there. <laughs> oh, immortal. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fine. I'm completely fine. Some people should come over and check on me, though, and look into my eyes for just, just to check it out, just to make sure I'm fine. That's, that's how you do it. Medical. That's what I know. That's fine. Yeah. yeah, you are completely fine. So um, that's good um, because we have discovered that clearly you were already aware that there was something going down with the good old cultists that are in town that you're sort of half, half pursuing. And you are aware that they are related to your potentially future wife. I say potentially because who knows what's going to happen today. Um, huh? <laughs> I mean, PCs might die. Already. Yeah. I mean, uh, this, this could be it, you know. Die. He might be sitting there saying, greater good, chopped off, done. Gold chains. We've right had a discussion. Yeah. 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 Who knows where it will land. Uh, so. Depends how sage He's it's really interested in playing a pit fighter next called Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> the badger. <laughs> He's never coming back. Oh, one and done. One and done. The inspiration only strikes once and that's gone. It's gone. We'll never see him again. Well, you know, no, you're... The version of you who woke up who's still under control doesn't remember from breakfast. You might remember all of this when it's all gone. That's true. That might happen. But it's still not happening. <laughs> Jerry the Badger. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So uh, we learned some good stuff. We managed to get him separated um, and taken to the Wizard's Guild where it went really well. Um, the spell somehow got out because it was, we were attempting to figure out a way to remove it. It got into your head. What in your head? Mm. No, it had already got into Gerhardt's head before we even got to the guild. Yeah. It got into her head. And then, and then, and then I head. punched her, which is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, a good old punching. Yeah. You, you do enjoy a good punch. I do. Um, get, getting <laughs> the, the, the stick in. Love it. Yeah. Um, and he's now um, trapped up on the ground. There's a bunch of wizards in the room. Valora, Emberfist, is also there. Um, she was the one who was responsible for hopefully getting rid of that spell in the first place from the good grass champion. Mm. The good grass champion is not in the best place given his leg is a bit minced from everything that had, let's say, fallen out from the attempt to remove the spell. That attempt was particularly nasty for our, uh, the poor grass champion. He's unlikely to be grass champion much longer. Which he wanted, right? Yeah. We don't know that though. Not entirely convinced he wanted it that way. It's fair. <laughs> um, but it's wrong. Yeah. It's, it's, it's his leg. It's his leg, not his pelvis, though, right? Yeah. It's not his pelvis. Yeah. Could yeah. Be worse. Could be worse. Back at it. Yeah. Um, so we did pretty well in terms of that. We didn't finish off our big fights. Um, so you know, none of you are gonna become grass champion yourselves. Are you gonna fight them? You you, mm -hmm. you you definitely intimidated your way through to a win. Yep. Um thing. yeah, indeed the Bardic Bunny. Uh, managed to secure a win by making the other person we themselves. Love it. Um, <laughs> that's how to do it. That's how you do it. Um, how did everyone else do? A deck of trials. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry the Badger won. Jerry, Jerry the Badger, Badger did indeed. Um, and Nils got his ship pushed in. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nils did not and well. died. <laughs> yeah you got taken out. But that early. ended up with the route through to where we are today. Yeah. yeah. It's worth that fight point. Yeah, 100% worth it. I mean, you didn't even get 50 XP for that. However, you as a group... <laughs> as you should a have had short-term ambition be stabbed by You have got really yourself... Uh, 95. 95. Because um, Lucas sort of isn't with us at the moment, does he still get the half? 
Pardon? Yes. Still yeah, he still gets the half. Lovely. He's your hench, hench person. That's fine. Hench folk get half XP. As do hench creatures. Mm-hmm. I might need another character sheet soon. Yeah, right? indeed. Well. For a certain drago stroke, sure. drago. Yeah. Depending upon how one is pronouncing such things. Can he have a career as well? Yeah. Doctor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> all right, so that all done. It's a basilisk career. It has I many stages. There's all much only to stone, <laughs> pebbles, gravel, etc. Sculpted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, um, is that all done? Are we all ready? Yeah. Yes. All righty then. I think we may be ready for episode 36. Six by six for the purple prophecies. <laughs> Lying in a bed, there is a bald woman. She's on her back and she's breathing quickly. Her eyes are shut and her eyeballs are flitting from side to side. On her face, there is a tattoo which moves, twists onto the other side of her face and then settles into a circle that arches out across her nose. A sinuous line. And her eyes flicker open. (gasps) At the very moment when ice begins to shatter far, far, far inside. In the corner of the room, a man says, You're right. She shakes her head, and as she does so, to either side the razor blades that were set around, cut, as she pushes into them. Ow, 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 ow. And blood flows down either side of her face. <sighs> I am fine. I hear secrets. She says, secrets. Right. Well, I'll go get his... Uh, better go. Right. You're right. As she looks up, blinks, as the tattoo shifts over to the other side again. Ah. Yeah. I'll be fine, she says. I'll be. And she raises her hand. Tell him the first prophecy's just come to pass. And it's three years early. He says. He goes. Do you want to do that yourself? He says. No. No, I can still hear the whisper. I can still hear the secrets. He says. And then she looks over. Tell him to get everybody out of Altdorf now. Meanwhile, in the south, far, far away from here in Karaburg, a magister sitting down with a book, looking at it. Takes a deep breath, takes out a deep breath. Her hair is long and red. Her robes are white. Her eyes are hazel. Fingers trace across the words as she lifts her head to the side and looks down and the words begin to move in the book. (coughs) Uh, She backs up and looks over at the wall where there is the fifth open letter to the Colleges of Magic from the Supreme Patriarch (coughs) Bollard. And she looks at the words slowly shift. Oh, 
She remembers what it said. She's currently held inside the library where nothing can be forgotten. The eternal library where everything is meant to be perfect, unchangeable. She looks over at the words, thumbs her fingers, and much like to the north where the breath had been coming fast, her breathing begins to quicken. As she looks at the words where Volans had previously been saying to the colleges, the greatest danger that the colleges face is forgetting their history. The arrival of a feathered lord. Which is why the White College must record everything. And compare it to what everybody remembers, lest one come and bring change. She can't decide whether she can remember the original or not, but now it doesn't say that. The greatest threat lies to the north. The hordes of chaos that lie beyond the borders and threaten to return. Oh shit. She says, shit. Gets up, panic clearly on her face and trips. Crunch, breaking her jaw Ooh. badly. She put her hand out to stop herself, <clears throat> but skidded. Crunch, oh. bounce off just the tip of her tongue, Ellie. which lands separately oh. as she looks at it. Breathe badly. Pain causes her to shake, passes out. Not far away in Altor. The Grand Theogenist of Sigmar wakes up. His breath coming quickly. He's had a bad dream, a very bad dream. The Grand Theogenist doesn't remember at all that he used to be 20 years younger. Neither does anyone else in the cult. Indeed, neither does anyone else in the Empire. Change has come. Before we progress, everybody roll 1d10. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Three. One. Four. Eight. Uh-oh. So, so, numbers? Ten. Ten. Eight. One. Eight. Eight. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. You can modify that with a fortune point if you wish. You are, after all, a PC. Um, did anyone roll a seven or a nine? No, you're, no, you're okay. I'll modify it. Fortune point it is. So the numbers were? Do I want seven three, or nine? Three, one, four, ten, two. two. And you've got? Seven. 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 You've got the one? I do. <clears throat> a claw scrapes across the floor and as it does the floor sparks cracks twists into small faces eyes begin to form along its edge as multicolor rainbows drift out from the claw ice comes from its skeletal hand and it looks up and looks over at all the text gathered by the cult of Sigma and watches the words change. It breaks its neck as it twists and its long skeletal face lifts up. And brick lifts, stone drifts, earth drifts into the sky as the sunlight drifts in and it lifts a two-headed sheep 
is born one mile away. Every single liquid within altogether too many miles changes into a different one. One man was halfway <coughs> through drinking a pint that's now mercury. Oh. Another finds himself bathing in blood. But the odd thing is, not a single one of them find it as strange. All of them justify why they are doing what they were doing. As he pulls it back up and realises he was trying to poison himself and starts to chug it. That's one gold magister going down. Wow. The one who's bathing in blood realises it was his own and just to make sure, slices his wrist. That's another gold magister down. Twenty-nine of them, gold magisters that is, find reasons that their liquids, whether it's through explosion, whether it's through conge consumption, whether it's through immersion, should be used in ways that most certainly would not normally have been the case. The entity lifts itself up and realises the situation it has found itself in. As the edges of its form already are beginning to destabilize. And it collapses down quickly. With a thump of claws, the earth underneath its feet starts growing and twisting and spiraling into something else. Stone begins to lift around it. A small tower, not more than about two feet high, grows on one of them. Tiny little grass people run around it with little demon faces <coughs> as it twists around trying to find some source of, and looks to Alvar, magic and moves. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's great. Meanwhile, back in Middenheim, so do we get XP for releasing him? Or is it's certainly an experience. Three years early. Three years early. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be more worried if we suddenly got fate points. That, that's when I'd be really concerned. Yeah. Back in Middenheim. <clears throat> a thin man enters the room with the bleeding woman and says, You've got a message, you're bleeding again. I, hmm. she says, the feathered lord is awake. It's not supposed to be awake yet. Our enemies are moving now. Ah, oh. but I've got a party. <laughs> he says, really, honestly, the, the timing could be better. Are you certain? Samuel was in my dreams, whispering things he has learned. Oh, well, blessings to you. <laughs> oh, very good. Uh, do you want me to... Uh, no, not after I have been blessed by Samuel. Of course, of course. Um, so can we resolve this after the party, or should we resolve it before the party? Uh, I would like to suggest to you, you don't need to, obviously, listen to me, he says, but we could do it after the party. He says, you could be stitched up, you'll be fine, put a mask on, no one's going to notice. She's a little cut. I mean, it's not like it's your first one. And at the party. No, we have to get to work at Altdorf, they have to go now. All of them, we have to get them out. It's in Altdorf. Well, bugger. He says, bugger. Well, hmm, that's certainly a thing. Well, that's not going to be a good party down there, is it? Well, ah, uh, we could send a letter. <laughs> You're a fucking waste of space. Why am I even here? Well, you were sent. We received you. I think we've been very accommodating, very welcoming, and you've been um, the life and soul of our parties. 
Send them here, Gisa. Oh, no, we don't want to discuss. Magus, no, he, he won't. Send them up now. No, no, no. He'll stop the party. <laughs> I protest! <laughs> and he slams the door behind him. <laughs> A blade is pulled back in the Guild of Wizards. Before the good Father Leopold. <clears throat> <clears throat> Over to one side, sitting pretty much on the father, is Birdie. Yes. Watching on from the side with a look of... Interesting. Um, <clears throat> is the Bardic Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Over on the other side, amongst the wizards, as I recall. Uh, with Valora still, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, is Elric. <laughs> Valora um, is watching on with a certain amount of confusement upon her face. This does not, to her at least, make a great deal of sense. The grass champion is somewhat broken. <laughs> Where the magic that had been confounding his brain was apparently somehow removed by her runes. Hopefully. But also had an unfortunate side effect upon his legs. It is very unlikely he's going to be a champion again this year. And of course, Gerhardt the Brain, um, Gerhardt the Bolt, is <laughs> against one wall, wrapped up in slightly glowing golden chains. Looking around at pretty much everyone else, trying to get their attention. So far, very few are giving him the time of day. <laughs> I do believe we ended the last session with you. Yes. And what was you were going to do? I was stabbing. No, 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 no! <laughs> no, 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 comes the reply. Wait, wait, wait! The blade stops, like, inches. I mean, <laughs> does it? Do yourself a weapon skill test. <laughs> wow, well, that's what I'm trying. Um, <laughs> Let's see how well this goes. Why does weapon skill... Ooh, is it 99? Well, no, no, it's definitely not good. Melee basic. It's probably. Yeah, yeah, it's melee basic. Melee basic. Melee basic. Melee basic. Yeah. 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 Oh, I me. just raised my melee basic. Is it good? Yeah. Is it You're good? fucking is it good? welcome. 44 crit. <laughs> Yay. How many successes we're in total? That's a good thing, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's find just out. Stop yeah. it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Assuming you're not possessed. Uh, oh, uh, eight, so that's 12. Nice. Okay, as she thrusts forward, <laughs> crit is perfectly timed. <laughs> as the blade passes between and stops right on the edge of his nose, right by his eye, quivering less than a fingernail tip's worth away from where he is. As you do that, you see his shadow like a flag in the wind goes mental <laughs> um, off the edge of his body as it's desperately, apparently, <laughs> trying to get away. But as is often the case with shadows, it's somewhat attached. <clears throat> as it flaps like mad in the opposite direction from where your sword is, down the length of it, the swirl of the wood lights up just motes of multicolored light down the edges. Your eyes prickle slightly. I, I remember when he's using this um, distraction. <laughs> he pointed out it's a fair distraction. Demon and Lupul to see if anyone else has like looking panicked at the sign of the blade, breathing a sigh of relief because it's been taken the um, there are some murmured spells going on yeah. um, <laughs> over amongst the wizards. Three of them are already on the retreat, making their way backwards, trying to get out of this um, potentially... Door, yes, remember? you did. A um, like uh, terrible place door. and then turn around to be confronted by the Bardic Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> um, like the correct response to the Bardic Bunny. <laughs> the only response yeah. that can be given. Elric, what are you doing? So at this point, Yume has stopped her thrust. Yeah, it's quivering right in by the shadows going mental. What, what, what are you trying to do? 
There's a demon inside of him. No! Right now, I am the only one who definitely does not have a demon in him. What are you on about? Hey, why are you saying that? What are you doing, Gerhard? Yeah, then we'll listen to you. <laughs> Just stop it! <laughs> Lucas, Lucas, could you give me a hand with this, please? Um, Lucas? Lucas, uh, the Lucas, other side no. of the room. Um, I... <laughs> who employs you? <laughs> Your father. <laughs> please look at me to say it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Do yourself a little practice. Yeah! <laughs> Yep, yeah, success. Zero successes. <laughs> oh, he won. Um, <laughs> Everybody stop looking at Gerhard. <laughs> <laughs> you have one sentence to convince me that you are not the entity. The shadow's not a demon. It's like a... Like a ghost from after the end times or something. But it stops me being possessed. It wants to live. That's why it's freaking out but it stops me from being possessed. I can't be possessed. Oh, bloody poppycock, says one of the blues in the corner. <laughs> Is that um, because you're already possessed by it? Um, There's no space. Off to the other side, another one of the blues goes, oh, no, 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 I have read about this in one of the old terms. Says, you know, one of the elven ones. I don't read those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't read those. Says, no, no, I've read about it. Perhaps I'll... I mean, we should probably summon the uh, <clears throat> Gilmoth. <laughs> I shouldn't like him to think that we couldn't handle this by ourselves. What are you doing, buddy? Sitting on Lower Pole, watching all of this unfold. She's very impressed with uh, Yume's improved it was, ballet skill. It was really, really, <laughs> really quite good. impressive. So she's kind of nodding, <laughs> going, oh, nice. You can feel <laughs> that panic. And Maybe while we're having this conversation, somebody could blindfold Gerhardt without looking at him. Oh, yes. That's my special. Says Emma Lucas. <laughs> no, 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 no need. It's okay, I'm, I'm fine. Oh. No, I'm going to stay guarding the door. Yeah, you know what? Any of them. Yeah. <laughs> As Lucas, Lucas comes I've over. got a scarf. Um, you may all say, I'm a wife. Why did you say that he was a demon then? He wasn't breathing. Breathing now, though, right? Right? <laughs> no. Mm. Why not? <laughs> Why, Why not? not? I'm so panicked. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> In my head. Um, uh, somebody, give me something to eat or drink. Watch this. There is no food in here. I'm, I'm I've got something. Doing... A handful like, of jerky shoves itself I... into your mouth. Um, <laughs> as you hear, I'm still uh, observing the rest lob, of lob, 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 lob. As his heart begins to beat again. It's, it's panicked is what brought it up. But it wants to live. And why are we keeping this? Well, because... Well, clearly he's possessed. We should probably put him in the dungeons. It's um, not a fucking demon, you moron. <laughs> that sounds like Leopold. <laughs> <laughs> Jana, Jana is the deputy guildmaster. Still deputy guildmaster. She's just looking on, looking very... Sounds like a demon. Don't look at him. <laughs> no, don't look at me. Scarf's wrapped around your eyes. From, from a certain perspective, this is the fine, spell this isn't used like a demon. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. Right. Um, Yana says, <sighs> Excuse me, I need to fetch the guildmaster. And then turns to the two blues. Don't let anybody out the room. Just don't let, any, just don't let anybody out the room. And then closes the door. On the other side, you hear. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. No one else hears that. <laughs> but Alan Menowith hears it. What the fuck is happening? Spells are moving. That's not supposed to be possible. Killmaster's going to hate this. You're absolutely going to hate this. I'm going to get the shit for it. As she walks off, I'm going to get the shit for this. We need to get word to Dar. Says Birdie conversationally, <clears throat> I'm sitting in Leopold. As um, uh, Valora says, why? Because if the court is compromised with this contagious Oh, shut up. I'll have nothing to do with her. We're dwarves. Yeah, the reason she she's says, heading north is because they put the taxes up, and it's probably as a result of this. What of it? You think you're going to make them turn back? No, but I think They're not going to turn back. I They've don't. sworn the oath. That's it. They won't change their minds. 
as well change the tide. The Comes over change. and says, yeah, what's up with your son? Like... <laughs> <That's true. laughs> My yeah. shadow uh, was consumed. It's unnatural. Yeah. <laughs> it was Thank consumed, you. but it's not a demon. It's like a... Like a spirit that got caught up on a sandbank between here and, and Moore's realm. But like after its world was I think destroyed. it's just nonsense, says the blue in the corner. It's the other one says, um, no, I've read about this in an elf book. <laughs> <laughs> and so he goes, it's bloody nonsense. I won't be having any of your nonsense either. This is this I, is clearly guild. I matter. think you can just talk over them <laughs> to the dwarf. To the, to try and, they try, try, fall into the background as yeah. the pair of them bicker. I, I think like, oh, whether... It, I think maybe Elemen and Wife, maybe it's maybe it's from the future of this world or not. The, the world that it was in, there was no time. All time was all time was every time was no time. Like its world had already ended. There was nothing material left. But it wasn't from the ether, it wasn't from the realms of the gods. Right. This one. Yank yeah, him out on floor. Mm-hmm. We should deal with him first. You and that one. Puts her sword <clears throat> back. I don't trust this one. Um, you don't stab your friends. She didn't. I didn't. <laughs> she attempted to, and that's. No, she stopped. She stopped. No, it's once. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you make? I need someone to lay this one out. Oh God! Oh hell! Let's do it. Boss. <laughs> <laughs> you need me to punch him. I'll do that. Do I have my own memories? Pardon? Do I have my own memories? Uh-huh. Interesting. Absolutely. <clears throat> rune, rune, <laughs> rune. And then she stops halfway through and goes, Somebody better hold his legs. Okay. <laughs> Says, All right, he got his t- Hopefully, it won't shatter his little girl like hips. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bit of padding. It might be all right. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Um, Element, were you there? Mm-hmm. It's this is what it wants. It's telling me that this is what it wants. It's I can I can feel it. It's 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 moving against us. Is it, he lying? It lifts up. No, no, no. Test. Um, you do indeed have the talent that means you can do said test. Intuition. Intuition. Eight successes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can uh, still hurt some fire. Saws. <laughs> um, wait, as no, wait, 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 wait. She holds on to her rune staff, <laughs> lifts it, and pushes it down towards the runes. Looks at the shattered one, hopes that it doesn't make a difference, and lowers it down. The runes begin to shake. As she pulls up, and bang! Ouch. Down. Can I please have an endurance test for you? Bothering tits. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's a good start. Uh, fourteen oh. point. I hope that's like a hundred or something. It's ninety-eight. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Shattered pelvis. Two successes. That's not as much fun as a shattered pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> Sprained toe. Depends on like, who you're talking about. <laughs> Quite. Um, who's holding on to his legs? I am. Then can I please have from you an athletics test? Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to do it on. Um, I'm going to do it on Melly Basic. Okay. Melly Brawling would be better, actually. Whichever. Yeah, Melly Brawling. Okay. Uh, six successes. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. You feel it. His legs, as much as this may be uncomfortable, say, desperately want to spread. Um, as the Well, not push, behind any of that. The push goes <laughs> wrap right round, and you feel the pressure on your biceps to either side. And squeeze, saving his legs. You're welcome. Thank you. <clears throat> the question is, is it, still there? is it still in there? Don't. Oh, fuck, it's one of these. That is the answer. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Maybe. It's just a picture of a penis. <laughs> <laughs> it is still in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's as she pulls back, 
looks at the runes that were on you. One of them is skited off across the floor. The pressure from the staff against the runes placed down sent that one flying. One of them, if I roll badly, mm. I rolled really badly from my perspective, really good from yours, <laughs> but not necessarily good from everyone else in the room though. Uh -oh. I'm oh, no. just gonna roll a die. If oh. I roll an, a roll of one, going it's on. gonna hit a PC, Rooted but not die. him. Well, I'll roll three, um, <laughs> but it might hit someone else in the room. On a three, I'm gonna roll. On a six plus, I'm gonna hit a wizard with it. I got a six plus, I got a 10. <laughs> um, that being the case, let's see how much. Sixty-six. Oh, <laughs> you quoted oh, a wizard. Oh, that's with a hilarious. Um, um, as uh, he's sitting there going, "It's absolute nonsense." It's no way, punk. Um, as he's hitting the side, crack, blood turns down. He timbers oh, wow. into the wall, smacks his head on the oh. other side. As the other one goes, "Oh, ah! um, like this," and then ah! screams, "Bless his little soul!" Um, as Crunch, that one goes to the ground, and the blue wizard hefts up his robes and backs up a little bit. <laughs> um, his scrawny little legs on show, he clearly has quite scrawny, plus hairy legs, as he backs <laughs> off him a, a little bit um, and looks down at the rune that's sitting embedded Wee. in the side of his head as he goes, ah, uh, ah, uh, looks over at the dwarf, oops. <laughs> <laughs> she comes over with her huge meaty hand and says, I'll be having that. That's not for you, little wizard. <clears throat> Pulls it out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Is he alive? Oh. It's a dribbling out now, probably. Shouldn't have done that. I'm i I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm okay. Is the is the wizard alive? I mean, um, maybe. I'm conscious. Difficult to tell. Can, can Lupo. Uh, Wait, I'm no, like, you're not going anywhere. Uh, come come, come with me. I'm just he's checking not being restrained room. anymore. Yeah. So. Let him go and I'm, see I'm just that checking he's alive. so he doesn't die. Um, do your self perception test, please. Keep the knife on. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm fine now. Um, never trust the Oh, nice. nice. His heart is lobbing quickly. He's definitely alive. But the blood is pooling. He needs, well, medical attention, strangely enough. Mm -hmm. Um, Does my miracle normally stop bleeding? Normally, yes. Let's, let's give it a go then. Let's attempt to lay my holy hands on um, it. It does indeed count as medical attention for the purpose of stopping bleeding. Yeah. So you pray to Sigmar oh. and lay hands down upon him as the uh, other wizard looking back, brushing down his rope and looks over. Ooh. Five wounds? Looks. I say, that's divine. He says. Is he the one that did read elf books or didn't read elf did books? Did read elf books. Okay. <laughs> the the non-reader of elf books has the dwarf. <clears throat> her big, huge hands on her hips. Um, looks down. Oh. Pray thanks to your ancestors. And then pat, pat, pat on his face, <laughs> not you, okay. on the wizard's face. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> oh no. Turns round. That one next, all the down. I don't all need it. All the down. I don't need it. You know, it's just That's exactly what you'd say. Yeah. All the down. Wait, let. Um, Anyone let, going to approach? Hold her down. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> You're still chained. You're not helping. Am I chained still? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, they're out, let out the chains so to, to, to do the, the thing. Ah, oh, okay. Um, at the moment, being held by Birdie. No, I'm fine now. I can help. Is he fine? <laughs> is that Yeah, is he lying? Is he lying? I've also got empathic. You can roll. Who knows? You do. I know. <laughs> I can knock him out just to be on the safe side. No. I felt it run away, right? You think so, yeah. yeah. Seven successes, eight if no's for trouble counts. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, he's not lying. No, I think he's all right. No, I'm fine. I'm telling you I'm fine. I've told you I'm fine. I'm, honestly, I'm fine. Could you Be get this? Too, if you want. Before you hit me, it ran away oh, because it made Greg, me pray and it woke up a thing. Loopold, um, you 12. would know. Sorry, I didn't hear any of that. He's not lying. 
Thank you. Um, That's good. It ran away because it made All me the die. It is better to be safe than sorry. Yeah. In this I would, case. I would rather not have broken bones. Rugby right, tackle. Can I can I, I try think and mid and ball tackle? Yeah, yeah. A good spot of midder. <laughs> can I try and dodge? Absolutely. Dodge, Do yes. yourself a dodge test. Do yourself a melee brawling test. <laughs> oh, so close. Self <laughs> dives over her head's wall. I'm gonna re-roll that. <laughs> Doesn't do Oh, crit! Hey! Oh, two successes on my yeah, yeah. He <laughs> dies. Uh, she artfully dodges to the side. Success. Well done there, Umi. Sword held in front of her, before, before her, behind her. Uh, um, Putting no away. Um, uh, no, she, 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 she's fucking like drawing the sword again. Loop all this at the <laughs> other end. <laughs> good, sword away. Life is good. What are you doing? Um, She'll use the dodge to... It's expected. Get herself <laughs> away from the other so she has another second. Mm -hmm. It ran away. I don't want broken bones. Sorry. There are more important things like the fact that Outdoor that is you might be doomed. possessed by some terrible spell that can bring the end to all of them. You don't want this sort of thing to infect anyone now, do you? What have it lied to you? Think clearly, girl. What have it lied to you? Do you think there's any bloody chance that it would lie to you? Huh? Think. It wasn't telling me so. Oh, wasn't it? So how do you know? I felt it leave. Oh. You felt it? How? With my senses. And what if it were very good at making you think something? You know, like your good boy here. He was definitely not thinking straight. Who's to say you're thinking straight? I reckon you should just lie yourself down and take it. Are you gonna do it to everyone else in this room? Because I've been looking at him, I've been looking at her. <laughs> Seems fair. Yep. Nice. All right. Better safe than sorry. <clears throat> Down. Yeah, I said all right. So bloody slow. Right, everybody, hold the legs, okay. hold the arms. <clears throat> Um, should, just before we do this, just because of the... No, whole... not you. I'd rather this one. No, He's no. got some muscles. Good idea. That's fine. <laughs> I'm actually pretty jacked now, by the way, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> Relatively. Relatively. <laughs> to where I was. Um, would it be worth... Because the old... The... 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 <laughs> the you know, the, that stone that flew off and hit that man over there. Uh, do we have anything that we could just put in the way, just in no. case? No. Right. Uh, can you <clears throat> see to that wizard? Yes. I suggest you go in the corner of a room. Has anyone got anything nice and hard? As, um... That's a... That'll do! Everyone crouch down behind breastplate! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he's got a shield as well. Why yeah, did you I just get... offer up your breastplate to get destroyed? <laughs> <laughs> this is on you, Lise. Yeah. 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 It's because it's the thing. Um, I've got a shield as well. I, I here we go! So. Here we go! Wallop! Endurance test, please. Followed by a who's I holding died. her legs test. You two, can I please have um, uh, a game, Melly Brawley? Oh, no. Can I just roll raw strength? If you've got raw strength, it's higher, yeah. Four successes in the crit. Oh, sweet. Uh, yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Go badly there, didn't it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that's with a fortune point spent as well. That's oh. it. What was that? You know, could you roll again? Oh yeah, so I definitely don't have you the definitely could, You definitely could reroll again. There is something out there that will definitely give you the opportunity to reroll again. <laughs> right now. It's for that. <laughs> yeah. Right now, you can reroll again. What's corruption Um... Do it. Too few, too I would few. say. <laughs> Too few, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I suggest you roll again. Do it. <laughs> you are a bad influence. Yes. Stop it. <laughs> yes. It's not even that what thing. It's just me. It's my fumble. You're in your instead. Yes. Know. I'm going to reroll. Oh! oh sad. I don't want to die. Uh, it, I mean, it's not a fumble. It's not a fail. That's good. Very far away, an entity was losing its corporeal form. <laughs> And it was small. It had left its cage where it had been trapped long, long ago. Enormous. Many, many times the height of even the tallest of men. And it was all the way down to being an itty bitty little creature. 
barely hanging on. And then it swells and swells and swells, giving it just enough time to fall into the Reich with a splash as the heavy flow of gyrant hits it and it bathes as it twists and catches an unexpectedly deep flow of sleep. It swirls around it and pink flickers go along the edge as the water beneath begins to bubble. It needs to find a host and it needs to find one fast. <coughs> It will not survive here for very long, and it knows it. Thanks. Um, not a problem. Take one corruption point. Ooh, um, yeah, no, I really did. Oh, I'll cash that one in later. Uh, love it. You just like putting demons in the right, don't you? Just big demons, <laughs> chuck them in the right. <laughs> it's see what just happens. what she does. Yeah. Um, perfect. Bit of taste at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Totally fine. Uh, other than that, no, you're fine. Um, there is a chance that something could go wrong. Um, this time it didn't. So uh, none of them break. None of the runes shatter. We're all good. Hey, Auric, your turn. Right, if you must. Cold, 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 oh. cold. As she comes down and wax. Let's hope that she doesn't fumble. <coughs> she did not fumble. Oh, okay. oh I thought oh. that was a crit. Yeah. It's 69. Not chill in, 69. in any way. Excellent, thank you. Hold on. Is it a fail? Uh, it is a fail, but I've got a fortune point to reroll. Unless I've got, unless I've got advantage. Um, I know. It's quite relaxed yeah. and he did it voluntarily. <laughs> this is not relaxed. <laughs> Maybe he could have meditated. Uh, yeah, three it. successes. Super, nice. lovely. Become hey, Birdie! Oh, no, no, who's holding down um, his legs? I will. Yeah, excellent. Liverpool's been done, hasn't he? <laughs> Zero Liverpool. successes. No. He's a wriggler. No, he hasn't. <laughs> How many successes? Zero successes. Zero. He's wriggly. And your endurance test. You yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're okay. Yeah. Um, just a thought, actually, thinking about it. How do you know you're not being corrupted? It looks at you like you may be the most idiotic <laughs> human that's ever spoken anything. Right. <laughs> Big man here. It can't be me. Are you certain? Yeah. Too bold. Number one, I've got something else in me, and number two, I've got no eyes. They move through the eyes. Eye he turns around. I don't understand much about magic. What do you think? Elf, you. I, I'm, I'm not an elf. <laughs> I bloody know you're not an elf, but you've read elf books. They know a lot about this. Explains a lot about them as well. I will do a test. I'm not going to admit I failed. So I think, no, you'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he hasn't got any eyes. I see no reason why it would be able to do anything given everything that we've seen. It's a good thing your rune didn't knock out him, Laura. Elgie, down. Um, she, while this has been happening, she's been subtly like taking Barakul off and just like lying it down on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't think it would coexist well with the other runes. That is mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like sliding Into onto the, the corner. Into the corner. Just like really subtly, like kicking it with her foot. <laughs> little foot show. Yeah, yeah, little foot show. Yeah. Not even that foot. Told me someone, <laughs> please. Who's um holding the uh bardic bunny? I'll do the legs thing. Sitting on people's what I'm good at these days. Good. <laughs> Don't Endurance test, please. Dudes. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Just let me just check. That's good. Yeah. Four successes. Six successes. Um, the staff crashes down one stone, pings off towards the side, bounces <laughs> off Elric's foot. Um, another one, the one that was sitting um, by your uh, loins, bounces into her leg as um, she goes, oh, yeah. It's going to bruise. What a good... <clears throat> She's swearing. Um, <laughs> low, though. <laughs> As she looks down, takes that out the side. Oh, that's going to leave a bloody bruise. This loop will just learn some new Castlewood swear words. You're not sure. <laughs> Maybe you're going to store them away just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Seems likely. Right. You. 
Uh, I, no, no. <laughs> Hold him down. Who's holding him down? I will. I say, get off. <laughs> Brody just gives him a look. Intimidate test, please. Okay. Uh, zero successes. That's enough. <laughs> Be gentle. <laughs> no. <laughs> I sits across him, lays down the runes, down and, and then bang. Endurance test for him. Oh, he's passed. He's oh, all right. Another, another, yep, good. Another 69 for me. Six and, mm. <coughs> Right. We've missed Birdie. Still have to do me. Down you get then. Okay. Oh, Who's holding birdie chops? I'll work a holder. <laughs> One, two, over your hips. Bang! Four successes. Uh, one fail. <clears throat> I'm tired after all this. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that hurt. That's going to be a big bruise in the leg. Compared to the huge stab wound I got earlier in the day. It's probably much, much less. But it doesn't stop it hurting. Yes. <clears throat> Ow, um, as one bounces off and ricochets down between your legs, and scatters out at the bottom. The one on the head pings up, hits the ceiling, and then collapses in the middle of the room. She goes, there were one in there. Oh. Oh. That could be good. Picks it up. Runes cracked. Bloody ill. That's two of them, though. Well, she says, that's that. I've done my part. Thanks for she says, work. goodbye. Wait, 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 Walks up to like, the door. What? There's the wizard. We just not going to bother with it. Well, they didn't let him. They don't want wizard. We did the one blue. What about this one? The, well, the other blue's unconscious. So we... But also... And, so we did one... The, girl, so, the, the, the one that did and, that. And, yeah. and you just yeah. let one oh. leave the room. And, and, no, no, wait. So uh, the one that did that, I thought that was Lucas. So uh-huh. we haven't done we Lucas. Haven't done Lucas. Yeah, Lucas. I me sitting in the corner of the room. Um, no, we, we haven't done everyone. <coughs> well, who else is there? Um, Looks over. Oh. I didn't see you. Oh. And I'm not <laughs> letting the other one leave, just for the record. <clears throat> right, so Lucas casts a spell. <gasps> Wait, hang on, I have his character sheet. He doesn't have spells. <laughs> <laughs> Um, would anyone like to dispel? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a cool test for my blue wizard, who is clearly prepared. He is, after all, very capable at sensing the future. He fails. Um, <laughs> four successes. Four successes. Okay, good, good. Um, to either side, um, as uh, he <clears throat> bridges out of the room. <sighs> for a brief moment, you all see a swirling grey mass, and your shadow boom, twists round and points straight towards where it is. Everyone else's shadows are just fragmented by the flickering candle light in here, but his is all pointing towards it. On the other side, you can see that place where you once were. Um, as he just falls back into it, and it shuts. What? Interesting. Uh, what? Uh, did I sense any I think any it might ogre? have been inside him. Did I sense any ogre? Uh, do yourself a perception test. You can reverse fails. Seven successes. You sensed that that yes. Full of ogre. Chocker. Words just, just, fail to <laughs> describe yeah. just how much algu was wrapped around that entire area. Yeah. As your shadow settles again. Wasn't the same colour that Barracool was in, just checking. No. God. <laughs> Back in. <laughs> um, what? Right. Was that my job done then? Uh... Deputy Guildmaster, she's not here though. So she's infected then. Right. <clears throat> she sits down, holds her arms. We'll get her to. Uh... That's, that's where I was trapped. What oh. did we see in the anchor? Is that what that Darkness. was? Darkness. Just dark. 
probably if he traveled through shadow probably would have been the realm of shadow but that's that's where i was stuck i'm sorry can we not go in sort of into reasoning mode immediately that lucas just disappeared through a Lucas isn't Lucas. How long has Lucas not been Lucas? Properly, though. Presumably Possibly. since you got him to look you in the eyes. Ooh, but he... A few minutes ago. Oh. Okay, that's not too bad, then. And to be fair, it wasn't him that got him to look in the eyes. It was whatever's in now. I can remember Lucas. doing it, if that makes it better. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> it sort of makes it worse. Been, he could have been like that forever. <laughs> Who knows? Well... <coughs> comes a cough from Dieter Schmita. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's the, um, oh, oh I'm don't move your leg, don't move your leg. Oh, it's yeah. broken. He says, What happened? What, what, what the bloody hell happened? We all lean in. As the door <laughs> opens up over on the opposite side, um, <coughs> and in walks a man wearing. Let's call it a party outfit. It's not well fitting. He has a touch of a pot belly. Oh, so the first sentence wasn't quite right. It's too well fitting. <laughs> um, he has quite the pot belly and a bit of a double chin as uh, he comes in with a little masquerade mask held in his hand as he looks over and goes, ah. That's the Graf's champion. We didn't mention Graf's champion as the deputy. He says, no, I sort of didn't do that. So, um, so he's here. No, sorry, I forgot that. It, it was everything else. Yeah. <clears throat> you go, come over here. He says, we need to lay our runes in you. Oh, you really don't think so? He says, no, everyone, grab her. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We've all done it. <laughs> I'll actually, I'll try and help uh, Schmied hammer as much as possible. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna fortune. Oh, Guardians probably not the best idea to go. No, do it. <laughs> do it. You don't know me. You don't know what I enjoy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a wonderful. I'm not upsetting the store. Yeah. I'm really Don't enjoying me. these. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't have any problems with dealing with this at all. 99. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, this is just beautiful. Uh -huh. um, as Can I you... shut the door again? Now these new yeah, people, indeed. victims. <laughs> <laughs> as you stalk towards her, um, and she raises up her hand and says, no, I, I really must protest. Slaps. <laughs> the guild master in the face, okay, um, as you run to her, barrel into her, as she attempts to say a spell and bites her own tongue, oh. and says, uh, ah, um, as you knock her down to the ground behind, Laura, pushing up her sleeves, well done, lass. <clears throat> <laughs> Good Will you be able to tell if... Crunch down to the ground. <laughs> Will you be able to tell if something was in her? As the, uh, you presume, Guildmaster says, no, could we... What are you doing to my... What are you doing to her? Why are you sitting on her? As Melora looks up at him and says, get out of my way. You're next. It's a runic exorcism. And just stops. <laughs> no, we got trouble here. <laughs> says, because if one gets knocked out of her, you're going to have to lock down an entire building. I was already mm. thinking that. As so, for this one that got away, have you got any way of tracking him? Like this. We could scry. Can you scry or divine for your head? No. The only one that's obvious would be an oracular vision if someone asked the question directly. But but, but yeah. yeah With, I mean, if someone could say but, they'd say, like, where is he? And I might get a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or you might crit it. I might crit it, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> would the guild master have yeah, any they're like, knowledge? They're like, yeah. Um, yeah, they're probably better at it than so the situation is this, Guildmaster. I presume you've been told that someone is in Sorcerer sure. Court. He says, Guildmaster. Um, looks you up and down. <laughs> and then looks at himself at and then shrugs. <laughs> Carnival, no, I get it. Um, and looks at you again. Oh, my. <laughs> and then looks away and says, so, um, what, what, what is, um, can you not just let her go? 
No! Oh, get down on you here. Sorry, lass. Better safe than sorry. <clears throat> Someone's gonna eat all the red. She's struggling. Oh, Rick. Yeah, I'm sorry about this, but it's just for the best. Five seconds. <gasps> That's not good. I'm gonna re-roll. Well, unless, unless you've got advantage, in which case maybe it's really no, good. No, no, no. no. She's struggling I, I don't think we want to eat while I'm holding down a magist. Well, well, he, he, he's held out a lot of people fair. against their wills, so surely that would be... Mm. Nah, nah. No, it's, right. it's, it's I've, cool. I've used my last fortune. Oh no, I don't have another fortune point. I've only got one fate point. I can't re-roll at 88. <gasps> oh, no. oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Because oh, you nearly killed me. You killed me last week. Everything's going so badly. I know. <laughs> That's so bad. Things I, yeah. seem to accelerate, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so bad. No, it's only not. day two. Bye. <laughs> Eat. Eat. <laughs> 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 you hold on. <laughs> she goes, crunch. <clears throat> the rune bounces off in that direction. Another one skids off her. She <clears throat> struggles a little as you squeeze tight. Very tight. Uh oh. Sorry. <clears throat> and the rune <laughs> goes right into your chin. Ow! And causes, oh. if I roll a 10, it will explode. Oh. Oh. Fortunately, only eight wounds. Oh, okay. uh, and if it's dislodged, you lose another 2d10. Yank. <laughs> <laughs> Goes the dwarf as you take a further 14. So that, 22. 22. Thank you. <clears throat> Where would I be without you? <laughs> Holds it. Just get a Wait, she will know if there was something in <laughs> yep. this. Yep. Yeah, so she be able checks to know if the room and goes, you can only do that No, it's alright, it will contain. So, so that means we've got one unconscious wizard who was not seen to, and one person who may be ensorcelled who has left this room in a flurry of Aldi. I summed it up for you. Maybe ensorcelled. Locus no. couldn't cast magic before. No, that's new. <sighs> I don't think that's an awesome one, anyway. Feels like this is more. Like, that feels like he's really got, As, got um, he a says, thing inside him. Why is there no chair, chairs in here? I could really do with a little sit down. God. Are you all right, Lord Magister? Um, as right, uh, the blue there says, um, yeah, sort of. I mean, I've read about this in a book. Um, <laughs> uh, he says, it was one of those old elven terms uh, about spells that could um, transfer themselves from place to place to place. And um, they could be quite aggressive. Um, they were very common in some of the older wars. I don't care. Um, he says, as he looks over, you're right. Uh -huh. Yes. Says. I'm not. <laughs> There's a big, <laughs> muddy. Rude shaped <laughs> Right. I'm going, you come here. I've got Schmied Hammer here, and whatever his fucking name is. What's his name? Meet Hammond, you're a yes. Board. Excellent. Get Come here. Thank you. Ten out of ten. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, That's great. Schmiedrich. That was Diedrich Schmiedrich. <laughs> Diedrich Schmiedrich. That's, like, That's what it should be. <laughs> right. Um, let me fix. I'm not having a very good one, one second. You seem okay. <laughs> right. So Schmied Hammer gets. Um, Can you track the magic he has? Uh, no, we, we don't. We deal with elementalism here in the guild. Says, we've always dealt with elementalism here. He says we don't, we don't do that southern thing. <laughs> he says as he scratches his head and goes, no. Well, what if we ask uh, Leopold's we shadow then? Which you up and down. I was performing yesterday for the princess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> I'm guessing his heart rate's just picked up. <laughs> I guess. Robes are loose. <clears throat> yeah. Are <clears throat> uh, you for hire? Well, yes, of course. Excellent. Oh, good. Do, 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 Could you do, do, leave? Um, uh, do you have um, uh, contact details? Could you leave them with the front them office? I will leave with the front office. Oh, marvelous! Marvelous. Uh, Twenty oh. wounds for me, huh? Oh, holy crap, sticks! Yep. Nicely done. Thank you. Um, that's my do. Mm. you up. <laughs> Oh, wait, not as many for you. I'm <laughs> <laughs> One. Uh, it's it's intelligence plus 
your intelligence bonus plus your successes. Whatever the successes are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so nine plus uh, I've got field dressing two, so yeah, that's two, <laughs> and then plus the one, so twelve. Oh, that's all right. With, okay. with zero good. successes, <laughs> just as a standard. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm only ten short. Now, so that's good. Uh, um, anyone? My. Are we not? Lordbolt's shadow clearly moved towards that area. Perhaps you can use it to detract. Oh, yes. that's a good idea. Yeah. Like a lodestone. Yeah. Um, I, I, oh, who exactly are all of you? Oh, only to say, <laughs> it says, open portal I, to I, I, was I was about, I was intending to go out to, well, um, uh, oh. this, this might be important business, actually. Deputy. Uh, yeah. You deal with this. Back towards the door. <laughs> Lord Magister, you deal with it as do um yes. Uh, Is leave it your details. Possible it could have jumped into him. Because she was talking to him. No. No. but it would still stay within her when it jumps. <clears throat> right? Because it like, spreads. It spreads, goes, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. It spreads Bad it business. It says Right, I've done as much as I can. Wait, wait, wait. Says Ballora. Oh, sorry, not Ballora. The other guy. Um, how, do, how do you feel about the taxes? Who are you saying that to? The, <laughs> the, um, the Lord Magister, before he goes. Lord Magister. The Guild, Ma Guild Magister. Guild Magister, sorry. He just looks at you and says, well, a bloody mess, that's what they are. Less Fine. said about that, the better. Okay. Nope. Says. You can go, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> the door, having to whack it. Yes, no, we could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> just, just think about that. <laughs> Just but so we know, that, would, that would have been an effective way of testing them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally confirm these things, but it's too funny not to. No, we know that. We, we know, know that. that. We know that. We know that. Please don't figure that out. Well, that's what happened when the cleverest member of the party was one of the ones who was in Sorcel. Because we don't have a clever How do you feel about the taxes? <laughs> What's the thing that people say? <laughs> <laughs> no, tell us test if you want to repeat it. Um, no, 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 no. It's stupid. It's pointless. Daft. How do you feel about the taxes? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's stupid. Pointless. Daft. What did you do yesterday? No, no, it's fine. Stupid. <laughs> pointless. <laughs> daft. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Elric will slap. I don't know what. <laughs> um, as you turn around, I'm joking. I'm joking. A whack <laughs> off the side of your yeah. face from Elric. Nice shot. Open palm. <laughs> slap. Oh. Okay. It's not the time for joking. No, I'm a little bit freaked out by what's happened to Lucas. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm sort of blathering now. <laughs> As um, Laura says, I'm done, aren't I? If, so Laura, yeah, you've been you. incredibly helpful and thank I am you. your debt for, for helping these people. Thank you. You're going to owe me 15 daggers. They'll be shit. <laughs> but you still need to do them for me. 15 of them. 15. I'll talk to your man. Looks at you. And what's his name? Jim. Bill. No. It wasn't Bill, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I've just seen one of my group oh, disappear. Oh, Arthur. Arthur. Get it in your head. Show respect to other people. Respect isn't hard. It's quite easy. Mm -hmm. All it involves is using your head, which it's fair to say you people like to forget about. Looks at you, except for this one. She used it to catch my room. <laughs> it says, good um, afternoon. Like, good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, goes up the road. Out my way, wizard. I was just good. As he looks around. Um, Deputy the master. As she looks and goes, right. So, uh... I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing well, here. Can you can you not scry people? Your blue people? No. No. <coughs> did you not listen? They're elementalists. There's a bigger question at play here. If the Graf's champion's infected and he's come from the court, God knows how many. Sorry, gods know how many. Oh no, 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 it doesn't work like that. He it says it's not infectious. It can move. Says the blue wizard. I know, I've read books about it. Says elven books. Nods. We, yes, quite. We know that it moves, but it, it's not that it moves and replaces one. Both of these people, the champion 
and our Lord here were. It leaves residue to cover its path up to half a day. And it moved because it was threatened, because we literally said the words. That's when it happened, mm. when he started to show signs, when we accused him of being ensorcelled. Uh, 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 we're ensorcelled, um, says him in the corner with a broken leg. <coughs> oh, yes, uh, yes, yes, you are. Um, don't walk on that. No, oh, no, I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't going to. <laughs> no, and you'll need a... Um, <coughs> Oh, what the fuck are they called? Uh, yeah. You were ensorcelled Cut. by someone. Cracked. Who, Give me a split. Yana! Yeah, no. What the bloody hell's happening here? And she wounds. goes, You were ensorcelled. Repeating pretty much exactly what you said. <laughs> right. He says, um, <laughs> could, I, could I ask you for a favour? Could you get word up to uh, Kralaplatz? Tell Mark Kirsten. Huh? Look! <laughs> It's not exactly a secret. <laughs> he says, tell Mark Kirsten that I'm not going to be able to come and uh, meet uh, for lunch. Luncheon on account of my leg and on account of what you probably want to do to make sure I'm not ensorcelled. I can't believe I'm ensorcelled. Uh, my question remains, where did he get it from? And, and, <laughs> and more to the point, are we not well past luncheon now? <laughs> <clears throat> Very possibly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you may have already missed luncheon. Well, she still needs work. Yeah. 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 Um, no, so do, he was, we could take it. What? We could take the word. No. This is where we want to go. Hmm. Right? Is it called? Yes, and she's at the court. That's where she is. So Oh right. Yes. We so, could help him. I I do the plans. Let me just <laughs> ask what I do. So um, you know, instead of payment for obviously fixing your leg up, everything. Um <laughs> What we really need is to. Yes? Who are you? Oh, me? Um, <laughs> you look familiar. Quite likely, yes. Uh, but I have one of those faces. Other people tend to have it. It's a strange and long, drawn out story. Don't worry about it. Um, oh, you may have seen my bout. I was uh, Jerry. Oh, no, I don't know that. Um, do you not remember that? No, I don't no, remember that, do I? Remember that. Um, you have seen you perform as Jerry the Badger. What are you talking about? <laughs> This morning, this we morning. were fighting. Yeah. What? I, dull, I was taken ill. Jerry, the badger. Uh, can As, we talk excuse me. Sorry. Says um, Anna. This is a, of import. How did you pick up this spell? Do you have any recollection of it at all? See, so he goes. Mm. There, there's one way. Do you remember one? When's your last memory from? Looks at you. Who are you? Does it matter right now? I, I'm. You may. Um. Nice to meet you. Um. Matsume. No, to me it's an alter ego. Um. <laughs> for my fight in the form. Can't keep up. Um. <laughs> do when's your last memory from? And when's the last time you remember talking about taxes? Right. Those are the two things. Mm. What taxes? The horrendous tax. That answers your question. Yeah. Yeah. You are in Sorcerer to make you speak in favour of some extremely high taxes that the Graf has put on wizards, Yana's priests, her arms. and dwarves, mainly. When we challenged you about it, the spell within you responded aggressively, trying to erase the trace of us discovering you were in Sorcerer to believe that these taxes were good. So we are trying to find out who ensorcelled you, and who wants these taxes put in place at the cost of wizards, priests, and dwarves being in living hand? I, I don't know. Wait, how, how could I possibly Do you know? remember speaking to a person you would have usually about the taxes? Someone who I was... don't know about any taxes. What, so it implies what day is it? Yes. It says Valentag. What day is it? What day, yeah. What You'll day be is. able to find yourself. You've got your hand out. It's, it's a rare that, example where I actually have to supplied it to you. It's Festag today. Festag. So what were you doing last night? It says, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll work at a showboat. What's a showboat? <laughs> you know what the showboat is. It's um a large, sort of almost cabaret come in. 
that you can find in the great parking centre of the city. It looks over the Blackpool um, and sits off towards the edge and is apparently a really nice place you've never been. Or scum uh, like me. Yeah, yeah, quite <laughs> exactly. But you are aware of it. You have also heard and of it's, the it's show open board. all the time. It's not a Pardon? festival thing. It's oh, no, no, no. It's yeah. open all the time. Absolutely. I'll yeah. probably stab somebody there. It's a, a bow in the, in the park. So, right. so you were at the showbird. Did you speak to anyone that you didn't know? Did anyone approach you? Were you there with friends? Uh, no, no. I was just there watching the show. Right. Do you know what H- show How long is it until the festival? Says, what festival? You know, the, the, the carnival. The carnival. Well, that's not for two months yet. Oh, my God. Oh, two God. Months? You've been in Sorsal for two months then. Because it's day two of the festival today. He folds his arms. No, that's not possible. Deputy, You're pulling me leg. Deputy Guildmaster. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> she looks on. Mm. Well, that's not good news at all. So you advise the graph, one presumes, to support taxes that have very much disadvantaged me and our guild. Mm. And, and, and the priests and the dwarfs. And driven the dwarfs from the city. Well, the clan. One of the clans, only at least one. So those who are naturally magically resistant or aware of magics or have the ability to see into that sort of world. Yeah. Um, there is a cult of that. Yeah. This sounds like a conspiracy. Yeah. It is. It does sound like a conspiracy. And no one apparently has seen the graph. Well, this sounds like a conspiracy that this man may have a single lead to who may be mm-hmm. involved. If yeah. you could rack your brains regarding but that, it man. could be anyone. It could have been someone he like made eye contact I, I, with. I would require a charm test from you, but you can reverse failures. I like the way you're dressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, I'm just zero saying. Zero one. Wow. Well, I've got attractive four, so oh. four successes. Yeah, yeah, that, that applies, and yeah, definitely. As he goes. Ah, well, I might have met this girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, the show board. What was her name? What did she look like? Uh, pulls a face. Didn't really get to know. Well, absolute dog. Uh, says, but you know, she were. Uh, oh, oh, it's hard to think. Um, she she were blonde and she had. She had really pretty eyes, were well, that blue or green or grey or something. Something like that. Any tattoos? Oh, I don't know about that. Was she says. wearing purple? No, 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 no. No, no, she was wearing like this brown and she had a little white apron. She had a bonnet. Says. Pretty, I suppose, in her own way. But does that kind of remind us of the waitress from the first day? <coughs> remind us of any woman in the world. No, yeah. but can I see when she said purple? We will probably be paying attention to how the other wizards in the room, just in case any of them react to that. Mm. Not really. Cool. Um, Deputy good. Guildmaster, quick question for you. You might know, might not. Um, Could you introduce yourself, please? Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, my name is Carl Shadowfaust. Um, she raises an eyebrow. Could you not use a pseudonym? No. Well, I could have done. So, anyway, Carl Shadowfaust. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Um, quick question: Do you is, ever intend to leave here? Here or no. the city? Here. Oh, right here. Yes, probably. Um, then yeah. you should probably give me your name. Uh, oh, you you mean, I thought you said I should use a pseudonym and I gave you the name that I was using as a pseudonym again. I see, I understand you wish to know my real name. Um, yeah, quite all right. Uh, I am... Everybody else is just cringing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awkward. Okay, deeply, I'm not well, I might also say the awkward thing wait, 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 is Deputy wait. Guildmaster that his advisor has been in Sosom. Blather, 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 I'm blathering her. <laughs> <laughs> blather. Do yourself your uh <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a good chance to do it. I just need time. <laughs> Yay. Du, 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 du. Um how many successes? <laughs> du, 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 du. Two. Two successes. <laughs> Nothing to see here. 
two successes. Yeah, yeah she scored and seven to resist. Yeah, yeah I thought that'd be the um, case. Sadly, high willpower wizard yeah. um, who goes, um, could you just give me your name, please? No, fair enough. Uh, Gerhard of Alice Youngfreud. <laughs> So ask, I'll continue with my question. Do you um, know if a... Uh, the wizard, elf wizard, the wizard <laughs> goes... And just looks away. Well, you have to happen. ask. <clears throat> and then goes over to the other knocked out wizard, sits down beside him. Alamena <laughs> <laughs> uh, wife is still guarding the doors. <laughs> clearly, neither of these blues saw that coming. <laughs> now, the thing is, and this is probably what you have to think about, is if I have told you my name, in that sort of sense, it's likely that there is a backup to why I would tell you my name. Just keep that in mind whilst we have a continual and cordial conversation. Um, um, a, an ensorcelment like we have observed here today, would that be possible to recreate? So whilst that is one spell, yes. Would others be able to cast said spell again and again and I've again? I've never even heard of such a spell. So you don't know? I have no idea. Have you any idea, Lord Magister? As he says, oh God, he well, actually, uh, actually um, oh yeah, uh, yes, the... Uh, uh, the Almost certainly, which he says responsible oh, could probably cast that again. Yes, but mm, probably right. could. Um, uh, again, according to my reading, according to my readings, um, he could or she or <coughs> and he suppose they could only uh, uh, probably cast it or have it cast once. So they can only do it once. But if there are multiple different wizards doing it, they could all do them many, many times theoretically. Uh, one per well, one per wizard. Probably not. Right. It says actually, um, uh, 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 deputy uh, guildmaster, do you mind if I just go to the library? I'd really like to look at the book. Um, I, I know the book in question. I know exactly which one it is. I don't believe anyone else will lay it out or borrow it or whatever. I would. Yes, oh, you go read the book and tell me what you can about the spell. Thank you very much. Um, uh, no, he's unconscious. Uh, I'll, I'll be back soon. You shall. What do you think? One of us glowing. Could I uh, attend safety? as well? Mm -hmm. uh, no, you're not a member of the government. Goodbye. <coughs> he says. No, he's like, like, don't stand outside what do you the think door. In your, in my place. What do you think? Are there any or anything here for me to prop up? Sadly, sadly conscious. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just prop him up in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> from Albert's role last week, because he crit, I think, knowledge of this. Does he think it could be cast multiple times? Or I don't know. No, no, he no. probably he, he, no. He no. wouldn't know, or he doesn't think it can um, be. It's it's he both. He doesn't think it probably could be. Yeah. Um, further, he also isn't sure it's true. Um, because how could you be? Because it's not first hand knowledge. It's something you were handed <coughs> down. But again, it was um almost akin to, it was almost akin to a creature, and that can only be in one place mm -hmm. at once. Yeah. But also, like if, if Elric casts flaming sword of ruin, mm -hmm. can he cast it again? Well. And he can only have one out at a time. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not uncommon for spells to do that. Mm -hmm. Could another wizard also cast that so spell? It's, it's, yeah, a, but it's, it's a an assumption, rare. but it's, uh, yeah. it's not like any... No, that's fine. So I'm just limiting down the cone mm -hmm. of investigation. And it's currently mm -hmm. in Lucas, potentially? As in the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, are you telling me this was two months ago? Yes. Oh, yes, you've lost <laughs> two months of your life. Wait. So I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm not. Good time to mention that he owes us a so, thousand crowns. So I'm not well. late for yes, luncheon. Yes, he does. Uh, well, that's something. I was thinking I might be late for luncheon. I'm, I'm you're no, late for two, two months. Two months, months late for luncheon. No. No. We had heard that today, he had had a um, romance with a lady, right? Today well, like you he are. Has. Today you are due to be fighting in the carnival, and Friends. that's where we met you. Oh, I don't think I'm up for that. No. No. It's carnival now. Yes. Day two. Yes. Can you get my memories back? Ah, uh, he says. We have somebody investigating that right now here, right? I'll just sit here. Wait. We might be... What's the last thing you remember? Uh, I jumped on... Um, sorry. Uh, Graf's champion here. Just up into the weight room. Yep. Is that the last thing you remember? Yes. That's when it all happened. Oh, yeah, no, it's not. No, fuck, that's what triggered the spell, but yep. I, I went back to the morning, didn't it? Breakfast. Yeah. Um, last thing I remember, well, apart from obviously everything that's happened since sort of the chain thing, before the chains, it was the morning and um, I just put on a new hat. So it's possible he's not been in Sorcerer for that long. It's possible more of his memories have gone. 
that when he has been At released least, from the insults and ridicule, no, well, it is white. It is flashed back at them. Um, what about this? Is beyond me. me. Yeah. What do I remember? Just, I, um, doesn't you've lost about twenty minutes? Not well, very much. I am pretty sure it was in me at one point, but I've only lost about twenty minutes. So it probably just deletes whatever it has time to delete. Did I do anything good? No, it it twenty minutes a day. Two months. It was in you for a short time. It was in him for a yeah, few hours. So, the, so the time that it takes mm-hmm. for it to to work through your memories. We'd be able to suss it out by uh, figuring out when he started pushing for attacks. Yeah, and it goes. And sleeping right. the grass. If you could all um just stay here, man. Yeah, could, could you just let us know when when were these taxes first enacted? It was before we arrived. About two months ago. About two months ago. Well, it probably was about two months mm. ago. No, it was opposed two months ago, I suppose. About a month ago, they were actually <coughs> in place. Two months ago. But they've only been properly enacted these last few days since the carnival began. Because people have been coming in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's been quite a lot of conversation, actually, concerning them and the possibility that the graph, that's well, the graph, I was there, and he wasn't listening. He was quite convinced it was um, actually the right thing. Right, I, 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 I'll be back in a moment. Thank you. She goes out. Mm-hmm. And here on the outside, don't let them bloody out. Very strange party. Very strange. <laughs> um, and you hear, <clears throat> so, so what exactly do you want us to do with them if they should try to come out? Right, put a bloody cage up. Oh, right, right cage. Right, you well. As, um... Right. <coughs> Since we have a little time, uh, do you mind if I try and speak to your spirit friend? I mean, um, you're welcome to try, but it doesn't really have a brain. Well, it had will. Yeah, and, but it doesn't think the way that we think. And while you're doing that, perhaps you and I, Champion, could talk about this lady and see if there's anything more you remember. What can we do in the evening? We can do it in private. <laughs> well, do, 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 just so do, do, no do. one's listening in, so you get yeah, yeah, privacy. Totally. Okay, Not charm later. test, please. Uh-huh. <laughs> so you can do your perform bottle, right? <laughs> yeah. Do it in private. In, a, in this single room that we're in. Slightly lit. Eight successes. Maybe a, there's a dark so, corner now. Wow, mm. yeah. Okay, he's willing to admit it. Um, look, it's just. We were all a, a little drunk, he said, and well, I just proposed two nights before, and the boy suggested, you know, a night out for a bit of fun. Right. And and she were there, and and we were a bit drunk, and we got to talking, and I don't really remember much after that. But your friends might come along. I mean, they might. Thought. You know, they might. I mean, that might be a good idea. Don't be telling me. Don't be telling anyone, though. I will not. Because I, I'm getting married. I mean, I don't remember what happened, nor do I want to. Absolutely. <clears throat> so, yeah. while she's um whispering in the corner with the good champion, is there anything else that is happening in the room? You always put her hand on the shadow. Do you want me to like meditate? Would that help? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Try. We'll, we'll, we'll meditate. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <works. clears throat> do you want me to do a meditate test? Don't go for Um And then um, she'll try and speak to at the spirit. <laughs> put in that weird group left. Um, do you have <laughs> language spirits? No, I do not. Good. So what language are we using? Uh, Nipponese. Marvellous. <laughs> um, and what are you saying to the spirit in Nipponese? Uh, she'll apologise for almost killing it. Mm-hmm. You know. Wives always be polite to spirits. Mm-hmm. I yeah. like it. So. She knows. Um, <laughs> Respectful. You must understand. I thought you were a demon. But clearly you are not. Uh, and something else. And we require your help. You are... Able to sense when that portal opens, when it if it has opened somewhere else in this city while we've been speaking, or I mean, you're probably gonna be like, and eh, it doesn't say anything, but I'm just gonna tell you anyway. Um, 
Or if it does, it'd be really helpful to know where it is. And if you could, I don't know, tell Leupold about it, that'd be great. <laughs> it's a shadow. Yeah, I know, but... You're talking to a shadow. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. <laughs> the shadow doesn't move. If you threaten it with your sword, that really starts blasting out. <laughs> the shadow is just... It's not. There being a shadow. Shadow. Mm. Leupold, what if you um, get your hand out? <laughs> the shadow puppetry. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I the shake basilisk. your shadow hand. And you what? I shake your shadow hand. No, I understand. So, so you Our shadows yes. <laughs> shake hands. Sure. Yeah. It is most certainly an entertaining watch. I'm As trying she goes my best. Through right? Various attempts <laughs> to try and communicate with the I, shadow. I'm going to express again, like it doesn't think. Well, in do the you way have that we any do. better suggestions of how to make my power work in this situation? Because I'm trying. You could try dancing, maybe communicate that way. It works for me. Are what you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but what you're communicating is very different. It is a universal <laughs> message of friendship and love. What is not to like? <laughs> Are you fair, using I, your I suggestion? Would love that, because <laughs> just I will note that down. Um, our cause fed up of this farce. Um, <laughs> do you have anything better to do right now? We're trapped. He's actually do. just checking in with Birdie to make sure she's okay from Everything. seemingly dying. Yeah, I'm. I'm just sore. And also, your finger is back. I know, right? Mm. I was gonna ask her how it was all. Yes. I'm just gonna continue to pump this guy for information. Like this guy for information. It's a saying that just skies careful. you just, just careful with his life. Consider him very delicately yeah. pumped. <laughs> um and uh core information <laughs> has indeed been broke. passed on. He is quite ashamed of his previous actions, largely because he doesn't know what his previous actions yeah. are, mm. which does suggest that his intent is known to him, if not necessarily the outcome. She'll just say something like, what would I would say? Just the best mistakes are the ones that you live through and would love Don't for. tell anyone. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I remember what happened when Ulrich told, um, oh, what were her name? Anna, I think it were, about um, Raya. And that did not go down well. It turns out both of them ended up hating him. So, so learn from Ulrich. Learn from your mistakes. Exactly. Right you are. Right you are. Looks at you. Learn from... And turns away from you. Learn from your mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> learn from your mistakes. The guild. Deputy guild master. Eventually returns with... The blue wizard well, holding a book. Yay. Huzzah! Yay. Did they bring snacks? No. It's been a long time since breakfast. It has. Hungry. <clears throat> so we've had somewhat of um, actually a potential. Um, uh, uh, Magister. All right. So I have read this particular tome, and the uh, references I think do directly apply says there is a, a relatively known set of uh, illegal magics um, that work on the mind. And uh, these were well recorded uh, in not just some of our older texts, but, um, well, I shall quote, it says, <clears throat> and we um, had, it says, a long conversation with the elves of the Laurel Lawn Forest, it says, the ambassador of the queen made it known to us that we should be very aware of mentalism, the dangers that it can bring. And uh, right in here, it's got a, a relatively long uh, description about uh, various spells that uh, could best be described. And uh, again, I shall quote here. You must consider these spells as actual entities that are summoned into the mind of another using the powers of mentalism. And you should be aware of them for the... And this is where, uh, well, this is where I think it is perhaps... Um, Phil, uh, I should just say it out. Yes, you do that. <clears throat> for one day, the champion of the graph 
he says, may very well be insulted by such a spell. One cannot be certain if it is ever removed or not, he says, for we are uncertain as to the results, suggesting it is shrouded in shadow. She says, I really have, I, that, that's been in our records for over a thousand years. This is a copy of a copybook. So it's somewhat prophetic. Um, looks it, doesn't it? I will say, though, this is not my area of expertise. He says, I am an elementalist. In fact, I am part of the flying team. Oh. He says, Marvelous. Um, yes, <laughs> I'm part of the flying team, and uh, that's why I'm actually here. I'm very much um, looking forward to it. I do, um, uh, I do sign your cards, if you happen to have any of them. I do like to drop by the pool afterwards. Um, and if you wish me to sign your card so that you can say that you were there in 2512 and indeed met me, you can uh, do so. Sure. Um, yes, uh, I'm part of the Blue Arrows, right. he says, as we make our way across the sky. A big clouds behind us. <laughs> yes, Can I borrow yes. that book for a second? Sorry. Uh, no. Sure. Can I have a look? You, you're not Can a member, bang, of the guild. Right. Who, who, who's the author, at least? It says, oh, that's a. Uh, oh, is, that, is that loud? He says, um, as uh, she goes, yes, you can tell me the author of this. Uh, right, uh, it's good. Looks on the inside. Um, uh, uh, right. Uh, uh, <clears throat> um, um, uh, it's rather interesting, actually. I should have probably uh, looked. It's, uh, it's actually not marked as having a note bar. Yeah, very interesting. It's, it's good. Right? Could you back off as but just think of it. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I just I've never met a blue arrow before. <laughs> oh, yes. Star Trek. Sidle. Sidle, sidle, sidle. Yes, quite. You know, I, back before I lost my sight, I saw them. They were quite the sight to behold. They you were do weddings? Weddings. <laughs> weddings? Yeah, you do um, weddings. We only do the uh, carnival, I'm sorry to say. It says, um, it's, uh, we have dispensation from uh, the Graf. Oh, right. Says, we, we require an electric count's permission to use magic in such a frivolous fashion. That didn't used to be the case back in the day before we got these ridiculous southern imposition. Excuse me. Oh, oh, right, yes, of course. Uh, guild matters, guild matters, guild matters. Uh, excuse me. And then looks through the book. Oh, yes. Um, no. No idea. Sorry. No? Oh, no. Same. Um, is it all one author? The same author? Or is it a collection? I couldn't be certain. I have not studied it recently. How long ago did you read it? it? So it's not new. It's Just was mind. about six... Six years ago, I think. Six years ago. Yeah, six years ago. I was making... Oh, I was interested in some of the local matters. I'd just arrived, actually, and, uh, and he just goes on and on um, about, generally, his life six years ago when he first arrived, bats his eyelids at you in the most um, unmanly fashion that you've probably ever seen. <laughs> um, but he's certainly trying. There's nothing unmanly about eyelashes. <laughs> the way he's doing it. <laughs> uh, you may as well take a nap in Lupo's shadow whilst this guy rolls <laughs> on. <laughs> hey, um, her dad used to dream. She's right, not trying to so dream. Talking about some work with it, sleeping with it. That's the next step. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to gently pump Lupo's shadow. <laughs> Hey, whatever helps, right? Again, genuinely think the As uh, you're discussing, um, the deputy moves over to the grass champion and says, um, word has been passed to the palace. There's, um, if she wishes to come and meet you, then I suppose she'll be coming. If not, it is carnival time. It's likely she'll be busy attending to guests. I, well, I'm gonna need courage. Did you just, could you send word to me town house? Says, or just send word to palace, I mean, I mean, I'm still champion, aren't I? But for another day. By the gods. Are you sure there's no way to bring back? That's really not our area of expertise. He says, we deal with alchemy. We don't deal with the mind. The dealing with the mind is mostly illegal. And she shrugs. There's nothing we can do about it. 
Well, by, as it bloody should be, given what just happened. I mean, it's just wrong. Wrong, I say. Who knows what my, I might have been made to do? Exactly. Who knows? I could have been made to do anything. Anything at all. It wouldn't be my fault, would it? No, it definitely wouldn't be my fault. It definitely wouldn't be my fault. What, what have you done? Just I don't know. But I, I, I really, I really don't know. Can I just have a, uh, just give you another once over, just quick from a medical perspective, just to check you out. Says so you're a doctor. Yes. I suppose so. That's good. Well, I've already fixed your leg up as well. Are you a quack? Uh, what? Are you a quack? Yes. What? I don't know. What? What's that? What do you mean? Like a fake doctor? No, he's, he's oh. a legitimate doctor. No, I have a license. A doctor. PhD. He's set and splinted your leg. Yeah. I wasn't really thinking much, but that you. No, no, that's okay. Just right. come on. I just need to get nice and close. There we go. Look at me, and I'm going to get very close to his face. Maybe we'll whisper. Hey, listen, um, I think I might be able to fix your mind for that thing going on, but we actually need to find a stay. And you said you have a townhouse, so if possible, we can have a little bit of conversation at your townhouse. I'm just trying to keep this somewhat subjective. So if you could just be a little bit, you know, uh, and then maybe we can have a conversation. You can just let us know what the address is later on. How's that sound? Maybe. I might need a charm test. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a bit suspicious of your quack. <laughs> I think we're okay. Gerhardt is dead sus at the best of times. <laughs> I have a success, but it's not a great one. I have three. Um, I and... have one, nice. which means you have two over me. Beautiful. As he goes, <sighs> well, I'm any in your party. And well, it's, it's the ones here, and then. Uh... Two others? Is Nils, is Nils, Nils, with, is us? With, Nils with us? Nils is with us. So then it's just. Yeah. Margarine. And two others, yes. Nils is with us. Yep. We so Marguerite and. Um, oh, do presume, I need to fix Nils as well? No, we'll presume he's outside. That makes like. Easy. Fine. Okay. Okay. So, Nils, um, what about the taxes? No, it's fine. However, <laughs> however many. <laughs> covers everybody, basically. <laughs> I count them all supernumerate, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you know, servants. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yes. Mm-hmm. Noble. <laughs> don't count. Is he, What's um, even wrong with your, you? Your well, then there's seven because I mean, you've helped us out, so uh, I probably helped you out in return. Okay. Well, all right. Good. Well. So uh, very good. That man. No, he's fine. No concussion or anything like that. Well done. <laughs> so, yeah. Turns out his fiance is blonde and quite pretty, um, and surprisingly tall. A bit over six foot tall, as um, she comes in and looks at him and rushes over and says, What bloody hell has happened to you? What have they done to you? Bloody wizards. No, no. He says, Actually, I. It was a dwarf that did it, to be fair. It was a. He was a witch. I've been ensorcelled. <laughs> <laughs> he says, and I don't remember anything from my life. And he just kind of lets it go. Oh. Weeps. Yes. He was the dwarf lad. He was. Mm. Two hours later, <laughs> you are in a very well to do townhouse <laughs> off the square of Marshalls. <clears throat> He has his leg up on a buffet, like so, and has a big house coat on. A small pair of spectacles, and he's reading through journals. Bloody hell. And this happened to... Ah, look! Ulrich's married! <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't narrow it down. <laughs> Opposite him, looking somewhat concerned, is his... Beyonce. Okay, but do you... Yes? What? They're not even supposed to... Well, no, they're not supposed to, <laughs> but it appears that they don't really but care. She's a lady at court. I'll admit what I was saying. Oh, she, she's a lady at court. He's not allowed to marry, and she's supposed to be with no one for her time, and she's a lady at court. Okay. So I'm your regular. Quite the, the scandal. <laughs> and in fact, I heard that he was with a different lady at court, and that was his cover. So who's that lady at court with, you ask? Well, wouldn't we like to know? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, I mean, if anything, that's... <laughs> no, no, it's good information. It's good something that can be used to manipulate if needed. <clears throat> she 
um, has been very attentive. And by very attentive, I mean she's got the servants to provide him with everything that he requires. And she sort of hovered around until eventually she sits down. You've had a whole conversation about everything that has occurred. She has been asking a lot of questions, such as why, what's happening, who, what does this mean, what's all going on. How and you have learned the taxes? in turn from her, mm. um, she didn't care one way or the other. That's Good. fine, um, just checking. Yeah. <laughs> um, from her, uh, you find out, indeed, she is a lady at court. A lady at court is a particular position um, that uh, the graph uses to attend various folks that arrive at his court and transport them from one place to the next. They're effectively gophers. <laughs> I mean, they're not. I mean, they're really Pretty, not. They're like I mean, I, I could call them escorts, but that just doesn't come across bad. well. Hmm. Um, but they do escort Assistants. people. Yeah, yeah quite. Yeah, they do stewards. escort people hmm. yeah, from the gates over to particular hmm. rooms. They engage in quiet conversation. They provide drinks. They discuss matters. And it's very important that they are very sane. Normally, because they're attending a royal household, they are noble. She is not. Mm. Um, she came from a merchant house that has done particularly well in the city. And she offered herself as a lady at court to the Graf. And the Graf, in turn, went, you know what? Yeah, you've done well. Your family's done well. You're single. This gives us a perfect opportunity for you to potentially meet somebody that you could later marry. Um, it's not uncommon for the position to be used for exactly that, because you literally meet the movers and the shakers of the city. However, you are not allowed to marry, nor are you meant to have any relationships at all. It is forbidden, and many of them have been kicked out. Um, in her time, none of us have, although I think every single last one of us has had a relationship, at least one of them. <laughs> she says, so, uh, this is very bad news. From what I can gather, given everything you've said, you think that there are some nefarious people attempting to influence the graph. She takes her head. If that is the case, I, I, I think you must realise this isn't easy. And by that I mean the graph is not easily moved. It requires something generally, either supported by most of the court, and by that I mean those who actually matter. I don't mean, say for example, the Helsteins or the Valkyrs or uh, the Tugenheims, or indeed any of the <coughs> important families of Middenheim. Uh, I mean, his close advisors, those he listens to, his daughter, for example. Yeah. They're always sitting side by side. I can't imagine she supported such a law, though. And she is extraordinarily influential over him, but she wouldn't have supported it, which means that he must have been influenced by others, one presumes. And they must have been, well, probably the law lords. Probably. What happened, just from my memory's perspective, mm -hmm. um, Lee Barang's house. Lee Barang's house? That was being looked after by, after after obviously it was said that he was actually, he's kicked the bucket and all that sort of mm -hmm. stuff and that came out of the papers. Who looked after that? Was it lawyers? Yeah, it's just being dealt with as part of someone's estate who's died. Yep. I don't know if this is a question, it might be a question that I can roll for or something like that. Yeah, well, Do lawyers tend to work for the law lords? Out of curiosity. You, uh, you don't know how it works in Middenheim at all. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Middenheim is basically a little bit like arriving in Chile and as Lucas. you and going, so how do the Chilean courts work? And you that. go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you need so a bit of Lucas. Who the law lords are? Um, who the law lords are? Yeah, beyond, uh, unless you've got at least 30 advances. <sighs> yeah, you don't know, but you know they exist. And you know there's three. Yeah. Um, although she probably knows herself. Yeah. She is, yeah. after all, work in court. Yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, uh, after everything and uh, everything that we've gone through, I think it's completely slipped our minds. Your name, if I may, Kirsten. my lady. Kirsten. Kirsten, Kirsten. Slipped your mind. Slipped my mind. I've been very busy. Uh, <laughs> and she smiles, Kirsten Young. Kirsten Young? Yes. Oh, yeah. interesting. For no reason. <laughs> <laughs> you are a curious gentleman, my lord. Um, she says, so let's make it very clear. Um, if you are serious in trying to get to the root of this, then you are going to probably have to talk to everyone in the court, which is not normally easy, but it is carnival time. So you might get an opportunity where normally you wouldn't. 
My lady do, does the... And I'm serious that you do this. Because of what they did to him. Of course. My lady does... Just so we're clear. Do, yes. do the lady yeah. at court maybe need some extra hat? So we could... Uh, only the graph. Mm -hmm. Only the graph. But he's indisposed. Yes, he's yeah. been indisposed now for some time, actually. Does, does he party? Does he like to go to parties? No, he's indisposed. He's, he's mourning. He's indisposed, but there's... He's mourning. This is, oh, right. Just not how long? at all. How long has he been mourning? <clears throat> Officially, he's been mourning for two months. Although, unofficially, we are of the opinion it's been somewhat longer. And he just didn't publicly admit that his wife was dead. Oh. There has been some gossip in the palace between you and me. Oh. Right. And Are the law lords for each of us during the carnival? <laughs> because, yes, I mean, some of them, I suppose, maybe. Some more than others. There haven't been any changes to the law lords, have there? In the last few months? Not recently, no. When was the last change? Oh. Excuse me, I refer to my memory. <laughs> she says, oh, apparently, um, I can be quite close in that. So um, there's three. Ehrlich says he's been a, a lord now for some six years. Uh, he moved from being a judge. Then you heard Hoffig, I think is his name? Hoffig. 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 Um, I don't speak to him very often. Um, he doesn't walk my circles. He doesn't come to the palace very often. And um, Hofik is, between you and me, he is, um, he's been in the job for four years and he's, mm. yeah. he doesn't strike me as the sort, of, I mean, I can't imagine any of them would stand out to support this law, if I think on it. So there's, then you've got um, Vazmir. He's, um, he's three years. And Vazmir is, uh, he's more prolific at court. Interesting. Um, Vazmir. Do you, um, do you know this person? Click. No. It's hard to see. Cameo. It's, uh, right. Very southern. Mm -hmm. it says, it's very southern. I mean, does anybody really have that weak at you? It says, um, I, 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 if I were being honest, this this strikes me very much like something that was painted in Reichland. Correct. And there is something you can say for certain about Reichland art is that they focus on different matters than, say, for example, Northern art. And they, I don't think this would be recognisable to anyone up here. No, not not ringing any bells. You you see, it's a cultural difference. You might look at this and see the person as they might be. I look at this and I see, well, if you don't mind me saying, my lord, the word we would normally use, um, if we were being polite, would be a prig. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say wanker. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> she says, <laughs> hey, probably right. he, he looks like a wanker, uh, like a, a, a southern wanker. Okay. Um, and uh, Let's stop saying it now, shall we? Um, <laughs> right, of course. Um, that's what he looks like, um, but... I don't think any of us would be able to. Uh, I mean, Did it recall anyone to mind? Have no, you, not really. I mean, anyone in the court, if got, you sort of thought wanker, and then it's the immediate who's the first person if I say that? It's probably the doctor, but he's telling you. Does the doctor look after anybody important? He person? looks after the Graf's eldest son, the Baron, the Grand Baron, if I'm being honest. Um, I escort him sometimes up to. The Grand Baron, Grand Baron Stefan, that is, past Holbringer. Yeah. Um, he's very ill. Yes, no, we, we have heard. Yeah, and he's grown worse this last while. The doctor makes um, almost almost daily visits. Has he grown worse in the last two months? Oh, it's grown worse over the course of the last five years. Five years. Mm -hmm. it's just, um, he's, he was born sickly, and um, there's been several calls out for a doctor, unfortunately. Uh, we did a call out at the end of last year, and none of them arrived. Hmm. Some of them were particularly promising candidates. Um, I was part of the um, small group um, that was going through all the various names. Not you, Gahan. What? <laughs> we could try. Why not? Why not? What if it's purple brain fever? No, you, you weren't on the expert. list, I mean. Oh, <laughs> right. no, I don't think that's no, what I was getting at. I don't think that. He's a doctor. 
I am a doctor. Yes. Oh, well, you never know. I mean, if you have the skill and capability, they, they, they have some questions that they will certainly ask. That's fine. Do that. <clears throat> and, uh, well, we, we sent off to all the universities and they sent us um, a list of selected names. We wrote letters to them. Mm. And as I say, not a single one of them arrived. So we have been with our current doctor since then. And he's up here because he's at a loss. He doesn't know what else he can do. His best advice is for the, well, honestly, is to, travel, is to send him south. Mm. Yeah. Lady, Warmer do you climbs. know if perhaps one of them was a Dr. Flaster? Oh, yes, Dr. Flaster. Yes, um, Dr. Flaster. She was our second top candidate. Mm. Um, unfortunately, she didn't make it. No. no. Um, she was busy. She was training me, actually. Oh, that's quite surprising. She said that she was going to be coming immediately with the last communication that we had from her. She had a... Her brother died on the road. Oh, dear. Things changed for her. It is marked that none of them arrived. And presumably, if you looked into it, it would all be for circumstantial reasons. So they were all completely despicable. Marked or convenient. Unfortunate is the language that we use. The, obviously, the graph was beside himself with frustration. And, and in the corner, it was bloody livid, he were. Well, yes, I, I suppose he was. He really was. He wasn't happy. Right. Um, um, this. Okay. Th- th- no, th- there's there's a good angle to get close to people. That that one. Um, we've got a party. Let's let's narrow it down. So we've got party where we could potentially meet with some of the right people. Um, we law lords. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're lucky, the law. I mean, everything is luck. Every, every everything has an element. If you of really want it. to know who's most likely to be responsible, there will be the chancellor. He's after all responsible for the fisk. Mm. The what now? The fisc. I don't know. Fiscal situation. Right. Okay. Understandable. Tax. Yep. It's the GCOP. GCOP. <laughs> so. Uh, so the, if the chancellor, yes, <laughs> the chancellor proposes it, say for instance. Yeah. So again, I imagine Spars. His name is Sparsum, Chancellor Sparsum. He's a good man, um, but he is quite. I mean, if I was being blunt, he was very officious. And um, certainly, I suppose if we're actually being, I'm sorry, my mind is dancing around onto different matters. But if we are being as clear as we can be, the good chancellor is almost certainly one who would propose such a law. It doesn't seem like one he would propose, but it does seem like one he would support because he likes more money in his coffers. Can can, can I ask in many places, maybe different up here, but in many places, there's a certain degree of tedious bureaucracy around laws and, and records are kept around who proposed them, supported them, and so on. Is, is that the case? Oh, almost certainly. We kept by the law lords. You would need to approach them. Indeed, you could probably speak. I mean, you could approach the guild of legalists, but they'd almost certainly rebuff you unless any of you happen to be lawyers. No, I've thought about it for a little while, but you know. Could the grass champion ask for some something like this? Oh, he's doing quite well. I wouldn't ask. I don't know nothing about law. You wouldn't see me doing anything like that. And besides, he's only going to be champion for another day. Having said that, though. Exactly. Um, so move quickly. <laughs> looks over at his leg. I'm not going to be moving that quickly. Oh, bloody thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. It's just you, you've got to look after yourself. No, he does, actually. Um, and a good, to that point, is there an apothecary close by that I could visit just to make sure he's topped up with the things that he would need? Um, uh, I, you're probably best going down to Newmouth. Um, it's not too far from here. It's could just, I send uh, one of the servants out there, if possible? Oh, absolutely. Right. Just give them a list of what you need and they'll go sort it out. We'll speak in the break. <laughs> so, so what I'm Poison! The <laughs> champion does not need to go, but if we are to get this information, we need someone of import to ask for it. We are not people of import, we are not lawyers. He has Graf's champion for at least another day. I don't think you understand. He's Graf's champion. No, I don't understand. He's not noble. Right. He's the Graf's champion. Mm. That's it. Is he required on a matter of legal import? As in, is there a challenge that he needs to answer? So far, how many challenges have you answered? Nope. Nobody challenges the graph. Nobody, the point, his whole position is largely ceremonial. However, having said that though, he does somewhat share the graphs here. 
He's, Which he, is why he was targeted one assumes. Mm. Yes, he, he, says, uh, he says, that'll probably be it. He says, did you see that Alistair? It, it, it doesn't matter just now, darling. It's just, he had party. Did I go? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh. I better write him a letter. Better write him a letter. Poor Alistair. I'll be wondering why I didn't turn up. As um, she said, look, he doesn't understand politics. He's about as useful here as the paper he's reading. In that, he might know some details. He might be able to pass them over. I was trying to ascertain if he had any sway in that. If we took a letter from him saying we need access to something, whether that would get us access to something. No. Is there any friends? Would you know anyone that we could speak to who might give us an interview? I could give you a letter of introduction to anyone, probably. Um, who do you trust? And who do I who do I trust? Well, I would have said I trust. I would have said that I trust. She gestures over mm. towards her fiance. Mm. But what difference does that make? Mm. It doesn't matter who I trust. What matters is the graph has been swayed. On that note, sorry for interrupting. Um, does that mean that for this next day, the graph, if challenged, has a very weak champion and therefore we should keep nobody this will challenge the graph and mm. um, mm. i don't think you understand how it works in Nibelheim, my dear of course. so let me explain it his word is law he can just say kill them all and they will be killed it is that simple now obviously those of power particularly say for example house helstein they would go up in arms should that happen. And currently, House Helstein significantly outnumbers House Goblin. If they go up in arms, they will take Midnight. I've just had a thought that's very... House Tobringer, just to make it clear, is small. House Helstein has over 150 members. House Tobringer has the Graf, an illegitimate son, a sickly son, and a daughter who's barely out of her teenage years. That is it. There are no more. There is one more. And the Knights Panther. I mean, don't forget them. There are not many of them. And of course, they are an elite unit, an elite guard, but they do not match the 30 or 40,000 that House Helstein can easily raise. The local state army, they will respond to the Graf. Unless, of course, they respond to the health schemes. Half, half. I don't think you understand. Let me, locally, the Torbringers are seen as southerners. The Torbringers, their lineage goes back to Drakval, not to the Teutigans. Now, this isn't commonly known, but it's known by the families that matter. And if one thing is certain about Middenheim, Tutigan blood determines who rules. The Tobringers have managed to rule for some time because of certain political alliances that they've made and the support that they have from the Knights Panther. As to how they gathered that, nobody's quite certain. It was considered somewhat of a coup and they are fine military leaders. Conquering Nordland, for example, taking underneath Middenheim's sway, that was seen to be an extraordinary outcome. That is why the graph is let's say, tolerated. But he has an ill son, an unclear line of succession, and at the moment he is completely indisposed while taxes are gathered. And the Hellsteins are making their moves across the city. Do you mind if we um, retire just to the next room, just for a moment? She says, you wish to discuss something privately? If possible, yes. She says, uh, yes. Um, if you make your way through to the withdrawing room, um, I will say, though, that if you are interested in knowing who influences the graph, I could probably make a little list to explain yeah, it to you. Please, Thank you. Perfect. Please. That would be great. I'll, I'll be doing that. Mm. <clears throat> um, do you... By the way, how did... <laughs> Sorry, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Um, how did you miss Dream Go before we go oh, again? Yeah, into yeah, the... yeah, that's a good chance. I didn't even fall asleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But he was which, so which is surprising boring. because it was really boring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good try. Uh, um, we'll try again later. <laughs> we now have somebody who is theoretically an illegitimate heir 
to the Todd Bringers, mm -hmm. who is in the city, who is currently under the influence of a creature mm. that was brought forth by the painters, mm. who, if challenged, who can set up the situation that Kirsten just described. Mm. But they just wait for a day. I don't think you understand. No one will get close to the ground. No, but it, 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 they could trigger a civil war very easily now. Lucas, I think Lucas steps out. I am an illegitimate heir. Don't I'm even care. You don't have any bastards. Noble men have, especially the Toddbringers. His son is a bastard. Is wandering around the south doing his father's bidding. Why? Am I? Well, she's just yeah. said there aren't that many of them. I mean, so. but, but but I suppose I suppose he he could do something reckless in terms of challenging the house. Yes, and mm. them if you don't to care, back, I suppose. Mm. If you don't care about yourself, because you're not yourself, does that make sense? So it's but, so. But equally. It, but he would only have his word that that's who he is. At that it doesn't, point, doesn't matter, though, does no, it? No, it, it does, because any old stranger could challenge a house and say, oh, no, no, and it, it wouldn't matter. Like they, For the, to be taken as grounds, there would, there would need to be some evidence, at least circumstantial, of his birth. Mm. I also don't believe necessarily that the spell creature, that that's what its motivation is. Should the, well, no, I think the, the motivation at the moment is to is to generate civil war. No, it's just it? to keep the taxes. It's yeah. a simple. It's a simple. It's it's not. It's you not just like, think it's taxes. Yeah, like like the person who cast the spell. Yes, they probably would love a civil war, but but the spell itself doesn't have that level of independent intelligence, as far as I understand it. We are I speculating. Don't. To be fair, no problems on the spell thing. That actually seems relatively sensible. Plus, it's also, not so much a thinking entity as it is a purpose. Yeah, it's been given. Plus, yeah. Think about Why this. But but also <laughs> think about this from a from a from a political standpoint in the wider imperial imperial politics. The cons that want civil war in the empire would much rather have the Todbringers up here, desperate to go south, with an unhappy population that to be taxed, and they would want the Chutigans on it. There are multiple layers and layers and layers of people who have. It might be better if the Hellstones were on the throne right now. It might be worse. Nobody knows. But if she can give us letters of introduction, if we can talk mm. to one of the war, the, the law lords, if we can talk to people in court. We yeah, can... because all we are certain of is they want taxes that get dwarves, priests, and wizards out of the city. Mm. That's all our certainty is. Anything else, we could be doing their work for I mean, them. Exactly. I mean, it could be those three... Three groups of people could be wanted kept out for different reasons. Like the priests, um, they might just want to keep the priests out because they've already infiltrated the temples and they don't want anyone coming in who might realise that they've been perhaps, infiltrated. But all we know is there is a tax and the grass champion was ensorcelled by someone and this woman can give us a list of people of import so we can try and track that down. We should try and track down the source of the ensorcelment to find out more about why and what and who and when. Nobody's disagreeing with you. Yes, but everything else is just speculation. And well, that's I could also fix the child. Work. What child? Todd Bringer's child. Oh, right. He's yeah, an I adult. Mean, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it does also no, seem that, the child but it does also seem that the the conspirators mm. don't want him healed. Yes. yes. So if his lordship can heal him, that would also probably be for the best. It's when? Here's open his purple brain, Fever, because you know all about that. I do know that. I know many, many things. Purple brain adjacent. Yes. <laughs> Painter brain adjacent. <laughs> Apparently, the that's actually brainers. a different thing. Okay. Apparently, if you their fumes from paints, it can get in the nose, and then they go and they see twice. Twice. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Just so you know. Apologies. It's widely believed that the Todd line is cast anyway. Now you're speculating. I'm not speculating. It's widely believed that they are cast. That the men of their line are all. Sickly, unless they're bastard. Well, we could figure out why. Call that top down. Mm. What do we want to do then? Well, let's see who she's going to introduce us to. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Know. Okay. And if you can get to see uh, the Grand Baron as well. Um, anybody, when you're having, I don't know, I don't know why you would leave it with any of you lot, but you never know. Sigfeder? <laughs> You want to know how to get in contact with him or anything like that? He's your, um, your bloke. Next time you see him, you should probably not do your accent. You did agree to common yourself up a little bit. 
What? For calming yourself down? He doesn't remember. I'm no, he sure doesn't, but Sigfader ex- probably will. Yes, but we can explain to Sigfader that yeah. he... And he'll, 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 reset, he'll reset the, the challenge. What are you talking about? Your challenge was to not let people know that you were posh. Your task for the week. Oh. He made, did a That's very good accent. Why are you with Jerry the Badger? You did really well until you completely did not. Yeah. Until you got possessed, yeah. Oh. Trying not to do that. No, he oh. actually stopped before he got possessed. I'm sure I have good reasons. Which, but no, no, God, no, no. That's what he's trying to teach you. Who? Sigfeder. Sigfeder. If there's one lesson you learn, it's that you completely failed at your task because the moment you needed to be noble, <laughs> you let it slip. Think about it. Just think about it. I, actually, to be fair, he let it slip out of grief first. So? Well, that wasn't because he needed to be noble. Yes, it was. His grief made him want to be noble to get revenge for Birdie. No, even even before then. What happened to Birdie? Or at, the, at least the, the fact that oh, he I, felt like he I was dead the only while. way... He felt remember. he could make a difference if he was noble, and his task was to be common. I'm sorry, yeah. Birdie The was... lesson is, you do not break it! <laughs> okay, fine. Birdie was dead for a while. Yeah, but she got better. It's fine. Yeah, a finger grew back and everything. What? Oh yeah, my, my, at the end of my finger got bitten off by the... I'm not pointing at it. Well, it's, it's, it's probably in his, yeah. in his little bag. Yeah. It's got a bag. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Because <laughs> I probably don't remember that. Right? No finger there. No finger. That's what you're saying. No, no, he's not. No, the the bastard. Bastard. Yes. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. 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 no the, the, the finger got swallowed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just making sure there was no. Yeah, yeah. There's a little finger turn right. somewhere. <laughs> but you're, you're, you're okay now? You... Well, I've got this hole in my jaw. Well, I've got this big wound down one side. And I had a finger that really hurt when it grew back. Other than that, fine. Okay. It probably is worthwhile you having a bit of a chat with um my well lady to be wife. Mm. But I might not have a demon in me anymore. Interesting. Can we get a list? Can we get the list from her? Yes. Over in the other room, um, she has been penning um, a list of what she believes are the most likely people that the graph would listen to. That is quite different to the people who are arguably important in Midnight. Um, she's sat down, she looks up at you and she says, this is actually really difficult because the graph is... He's an old war horse. That's what he is. And if I were being uncharitable, I would say that he has, these last few years, been uncomfortable in court because he would rather be on the front line somewhere. And he has taken to wine and dinner as his next battlefield, so to speak. And it does not fill him with any joy. He has become angry in court and prone to bouts of temper that have upset many, meaning that the number of those who would normally have been in court have begun to reduce these last, oh, it's been almost a year now. Yeah, it's been almost a year, which is one of the reasons why there are so many rumors that perhaps his wife had died far earlier than many claim. At least officially, she only died two months ago, or two and a half. All of that is to say that there are certainly far fewer people around him than there used to be. But there are those that he talks to frequently, including, for example, my fiance. He is first on the list. I wouldn't say he's influential at all. But if my fiance was there saying a particular thing, I think he would probably listen to it. And uh, let me have a quick, because I'm sure it's down, right? So I've um, put down the chancellor, Chancellor Joseph Sparson. Now, he, he's, he's a relatively elderly man, if I'm particularly honest, George. He seems to me to be relatively harmless, if I were to say anything. He's very officious. He works hard at his job. He's always in the palace. Um, getting access to him will require access to the palace. I can give you a letter of introduction, but that won't get you into the palace. You need a letter of introduction to the palace to get in there. So he, I can provide you with a letter. Of, indeed, I've already penned it. So if you ever get an opportunity to meet him, you can pass over the letter. Um, then, of course, my uh, husband. Um, he often has the court minstrel in to be. Um, he's looking up. 
<coughs> so there is um, Relaine, the court minstrel. Mm -hmm. um, now, Relaine, the court minstrel, is often um, found in the court um, because he, well, he entertains his daughter mostly. Um, and also his music is said to entertain his son. I have never been there, but I have often heard the refrain coming from Stefan's chambers uh, in the palace. And uh, Relaine would be up there. So he clearly has the Duke's ear. So he is worth mentioning. Then, of course, you have his daughter. I would say that she's arguably the most influential out of everyone. But her influence is slight in that she has no interest in politics at all. And she is, at best, let's just say disinterested. Um, she is looked after by her nanny. Her nanny was also his nanny. So has more influence than you might first imagine. Mm. Now, she was a young woman at that time. She was his witness. And they have a relationship that is certain, but he tends to distance himself from her while simultaneously trusts her to look after his daughter. It is not... I mean, they have a relationship. So I imagine if she were to say anything to him, he would probably listen to it. So she's not someone that you would normally expect. Then you've got the three midden marshals. He meets with the midden marshals once a week, although I believe he's not met with them for two weeks now. Um, coming up to carnival, it's not that surprising. There's not any great matters of defence. There's um, three of those. Let me just um, mark them down. Here's the letter for the first. This is for midden marshal Schutzman. Um, his name's Ulrich. Um, he is... He's a really good man. I really like Schutzman. Then you've got Schwermert, Johann Schwermert. That's the letter for him. She passes it out. Um, and then, of course, you've got von Genscher. Um, He's the only noble of the three, which is, I understand for Southerners, perhaps surprising. Um, but in Mittenheim, much as the white wolves can, can be drawn from any stock, as can the state army, uh, you do not need to be noble to get a commission in the Mittenheim army, mm -hmm. which is quite different to the South. What you require is capability. That is what matters. And two of the military commanders are not noble, although they are in many respects almost as good as, given mm. their position. Um, one is the commander of the uh, watch in the walls, and one is the commander of the uh, state army. Oh, this is unimportant. Let me just move on. Let me get the others. <laughs> Obviously, you've already met Albrecht Helscher. That's the high wizard. Guildmaster and the deputy. Now, the, the pair of them, I would say, are not very influential at all, but they do have some influence, and I can't imagine they've been anything but negative against this. So they've got a right to call upon the Grand Duke, or Graf, everyone calls him the Graf. They've got the right to call upon him, which means that they have at least a position that's worth mentioning. Um, then, of course, you have ladies at court. So there's four of us, and we all have his ear because we are sent hither and yon. Um, so there's me, Kirsten, obviously, Kirsten Young. Um, there's uh, Emmanuel. She is lovely, actually. I can't imagine that Emmanuel would say anything in support of this sort of law. Emmanuel Schlagen. Um, then you've got um, Petra, Petra Harden. Uh, she is... Uh, she's an unknown quantity in this. I really like her, but I can't say that she would say one thing or another. And then you've got Natasha as well, Natasha Sindler. Now, Natasha is, I mean, if I'm honest, I don't think any of us would have any real sway over him, but we do see him. But I don't think any of us have any sway. I only mention them because we're there. Then you've got the uh, Knight Eternal. He is the official protector of Middenheim. It's a very ancient post. It was created a long time ago, although according to, ah, oh, no, 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 no. It's no ancient post. He says, well, it's ancient, I suppose, but it only happened because some witch wanted a job for his son. That was it. He made a big pronouncement. All the city will fall with that one. Oh, well, look what I've got. Really big fellow. Put him in. Look, at they don't get on. <laughs> um, he wears magical armor everywhere. You'll spot him. It's bright white. You can't miss him. Um, big fellow, uh, very much up himself. It's not a hereditary title, but it almost is. And he can go almost anywhere that he wants. Uh, he often speaks to the Graf and they talk about the old days when on the front line, um, chopping up uh, 
let's say Northlands. Um, yeah, let's say that. Uh, so that. Um, and I mean, you've got the Doctor, I suppose. The Law Lords, we've discussed them already. I mean... Okay, what do you say? Um, I mean, beyond that, I mean, some of the heads of the guilds, they might be worth looking at. Do you... The temples, um, no, 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 the temples. I think that is worth discussing. So you've got um, Arorik. Arorik and the Graf do not get on. But Arorik is, if he has any word to say, he's clearly going to be able to influence matters significantly. They don't like each other very much. Um, it's very much state cult, the other side. Um, then, of course, you've um, also got Sigma. Can't forget Sigma. The High Capitula, Werner Stoltz. Um, the High Capitula, um, he, he, I can't imagine he'd even get an audience. But if he were to ask for one... He's not in the night. Isn't he? Oh, well. That ruins that idea. Yeah, that, that, that completely ruins that idea. So um, that's it, I suppose. Heads of guilds, perhaps. Called a Shalia. I hear that the. <laughs> I hear that. No, I wouldn't. Sorry, you were saying. Do you move about court, right? How are you gossip, knowing whether things are true or not? As much as anyone, I suppose. Most of the time that I'm at court, I am merely escorting someone oh. from one place to another. And most of the gossip that one hears is what tea they like, what particular beer that they have been tasting this year when they were down at the festival. Uh, it's been relatively, for all it is, um, obviously the carnival time, it's been relatively quiet in the uh, palace because it's well known that the graph is in mourning. And we have a, a pair of refugees, which is worth mentioning. They are from Nippon. Um, that is a place um, very far away from here. She says, <laughs> very, very Sight by metal fan. <laughs> far, far beyond the World Edge Mountains, actually. Uh, um, and apparently across oceans and to the other side of the world. Um, yeah. Uh, the graph, actually, he showed me, he has a crystal globe um, that uh, uh, was passed on to his family a long time ago. Um, and it is apparently oh, perfectly accurate, but I presume all of these things are. But he does like to occasionally point out different parts of the world, and he indeed pointed out where Nippon was. And indeed, according to this, was almost on the other side, although the other side would have suggested the bottom to me. It turns out it wasn't. It was more the other side of the top. It's all flat. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, attest that it is not. Um, and that. But the, his, his crystal isn't what the world is, it's a firmament. <laughs> Look it up. The, the sky. <laughs> yeah. Fact. <laughs> right. Um, so, uh, of course, uh, that being the case, uh, the, the, I can provide you, uh, indeed, I have provided you with letters. You can talk to any of them. And if I can help in any way, I absolutely will. I have to work at the palace. I can't stay for it. The Knight's Panther would have me strung up and I'd lose my job. And I very much like my job. Um, I enjoy the money that it's getting us, and it's um, not just that, I enjoy all the contacts that we're making. And he goes, all right, I've particularly given that um, I intend to retire at the end of this year. Um, that is when I went. Uh, but perhaps you could help us get word that a doctor is here to look after his son? Would that be possible? So yeah. Yeah. Specifically yeah. Flast, flast training. Yeah. yeah, actually, I think I probably could pass that on and see if it goes anywhere. No, say a student of Dr. Flasker's yeah. who is now a, doc a doctor himself. So it's clear yeah. that you studied with one of I the... I think that will have some traction, That's actually. acceptable. Mm -hmm. He says, um, yeah. could you please uh, write yourself a letter of introduction? I shall pass it on and see if it gets anywhere. I, I can write it for you. Yeah. So. If you could... Oh. Would you do it? I will put what is on your... I will... Okay. My Lord Doctor. Fine. Go hard. Uh, good. Yep. Lovely. Excellent. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, no. No. No, it would require surname or house name. <laughs> <laughs> well, that. I mean, it's the norm. Mm. We're not going to send you some. 
<clears throat> We've already it's okay to, um, asylum if you wanted to get in the palace. Yes. You very well might receive it. Do you know what? He's probably more desperate to get a good doctor in the first place. So let's do that. Uh, but I, yeah, I do need those. Well, things. Why don't you do both? Claim asylum and offer your services as a doctor. That mm. will is almost like the the um, the payment for being granted asylum. These things have reciprocity. Reciprocity. Which that word? Do you think that would be wise? That very nice well. Yeah, yeah, you might not. Oh, I did forget. Bruegel. Can't forget Bruegel. Mm. He'd be the one you'd need to talk to about that. Can't forget Bruegel. Uh, Immediately suspicious of Bruegel. <laughs> <laughs> what, what Bruegel he sounds shit. Um, well, he basically runs the palace. Um, that is, yeah, and that, that is his job. He's a seneschal. Bruegel. Oh, okay. Is there a part of the palace, you know the palace well, called the Wolf Palace? Um, yeah. Whereabouts is it? It's separate over to the, um, it's just beyond the uh, east wing, west wing, west wing, over to the side. Do you know if it's anyone in particular lives there or no? Um, well, no. Um, it is used for various official uh, purposes. Then why do you ask? Um, we had heard word that there might be someone staying there that would be of interest to our investigation. Possibly. Um, I mean, everyone will be at the garden party. That much I can tell you for certain. Right. Okay. So that is worth mentioning. Everyone will be there. And the gardens, if you can get yourself an invitation, I can get you an invitation to the garden party. Okay. He says, nice. let me just write that down. I'll write, mm. get you an invitation to the garden party. So you'll have one. So you can make your plans up to that point. Okay. Everyone will be there somewhere. Um, and the gardens, the royal gardens are open as well as the palace gardens. And, and there'll be oh, entertainment everywhere. And if we were to find out more about this wolf palace, would it be under the care of this Bruegel, or is it considered separate to the palace? Oh, no, he deals with everything. Bruegel runs so it, everything. So it would be under his... Yes, it would be underneath him. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> so, um, I think that provides you with all manner of cool names oh, yeah. that they can so then try to names. figure out <laughs> as we move towards Arbury. Across the great slopes and rocks of Middenheim, deep within one of the more quiet corners of the city, a cultist made her way down, down, down over the edge, past two jugglers, a host of prostitutes that thought she might be, she wasn't. And then by a barking dog. With a single glance, the dog stopped barking. She passed through down the other side, and before her were two large guards, both with their arms folded between a door. <clears throat> she looks up at the first and says, I'm here to see the man. As says, Who are you, Pitt? And she leans in and says, I'm here to see the man. You let me in or I'll break your fucking legs. <laughs> <coughs> I'd like to see you. <laughs> as he bends over, her fist dug deep into his stomach. She pushes him down. Pass it on, will you? She says to the other. I can wait. He folds her arms. Right, our love. Who should I say is calling? 
unexpected. Not more than 60 heartbeats later, she's wending her way down into a raucous pit fighting arena. Down below, with arms raised high, someone has clearly had a victory over someone who clearly hasn't survived. She ignores this, passes around the edge of the crowd where she's led over to where a person, hair spiked up high, paint all over her face, says, What do you want? You're meant to be fucking staying away. She goes, I'm here to see the man. He doesn't want to talk to you. You're a pain in the ass. You're bad for business. I'm here to see the man and I will see the man. No, you won't. You're not even here. He says, so go fuck off and take your pretty face elsewhere. Will you pass on a warning? Okay. A warning? Yes. Pushes her breasts together and leans over and looks down at her. What sort of warning? Looks up. Aldorf's open. We're withdrawing. Pardon? We're withdrawing. Do what you want. Move down. We don't care. <laughs> All right. Don't tell. As she then wins her way out. Under her breath, cursing this place and everything that they do. Such a waste of good life that could be used in such a better, proper way. A way that reveals the prince. Over time. <clears throat> Our glorious heroes are gathered in the front room of a relatively well-to-do townhouse. Of all the townhouses that look out over the square of Marshalls, this is by far not the most impressive. Apparently working for the last year or so as the champion has not garnered him with the best wages, but it certainly furnished him with a nice place. Total of four bedrooms, only one of which he uses. He has no family. He has no one else staying with him, except for his two servants, both of whom don't live in. They come in, leaving you with three bedrooms that he has happily passed over to you all. You can break those up as you wish. You spent a good part of the day over, obviously, at the Wizards Guild. You spent most of the evening discussing everything else out. And you were a little surprised to find, as the day drew to a close, and you're heading towards your third day at the carnival, that Night's Panther arrived at the good champion's house. Bam, bam, bam. At this point, it's just himself and his servant. The lady of the court has already returned to court to do her job. The servant answers and finds that they are here to arrest someone. Alan Menoway. <laughs> Smart Tom. Menoway wasn't one of us two. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Phew! Well, I'm dead, so it can't be me. <clears throat> Six of them oh. escort her away Arrest. to the palace. Send by the princess. Oh, oh but God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Manchester. there is, there is a. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That passes through the gathered heroes. They must protest. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't know, right? We, as far as we're aware, you're like she's the worst. Boring. Yeah, yeah, but she did say that she had to escape and she wasn't allowed to leave for ages. She was arrested. Yeah, no. get those and outfits. I'd already been arrested yeah. once by her to right. get me back yeah. there. Yeah. Just yeah. Get those sure. outfits for the party. Yeah. Outfits Although and um, it is also concerning if you're away. Do you also, you yeah. know, do the old 
pumping for information <laughs> thing. I, I don't know what you mean. Yeah. You mean talking? This way! <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry. No talking. <laughs> crop, 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 crop. Play and she's escorted the across <laughs> the bunny and the cat, across the square of marshals, over to the palace where she disappears in the night. She's there in the morning before anyone else is awake. Still in the palace. <clears throat> she doesn't come back until about 10 in the morning. Giving you enough time to have your breakfast, get yourself sorted, and decide exactly what you want to do for the day. You have your day three handout. Day three. Day oh, three no, handout. Oh, we've got fuck all on this side. Oh, I've just got the days. I don't know where the event, but that's day three. There we go. <clears throat> so we've got the Graffs Champion at 11. Oh, Fine great. Ale Festival at 12. No. <laughs> uh, Fire, Fire Breathers. breathers. <laughs> yeah, also at 12. Um, uh, Archery Tournament, Dwarf Valley Choir, Mummer Improv, <laughs> Minotaur Pit Fights, Ooh. Bards and Poets, Garden Party. It's in capital letters. It's the Garden Party today. That's where we want to be. Not till uh, four o'clock. Yeah, Barnumble's Elephant Show and the Barbarian of Versailles, <clears throat> which I'm assuming is an opera. So uh, you're gonna have to miss that because it overlaps with the Garden Party. Yeah, uh, see you even. Seems more like a non-cultured group. So do we start with? <clears throat> um, what was it? Ten a.m. No, we're getting there. We're starting no the planning to the Graf Champion. Is no like, pointless. Or well, we know he's just next door. They don't really care who gets it now. Did the Big Feather and Magritte ever join us? So how did would you know where we are? Mm. Nope, there's no idea well, where you are. Yeah. We could have sent word to the inn. Yep. We didn't. We didn't know. <laughs> we probably should, though. No, um, probably not, actually, because then we've, we've found ourselves in a situation here where oh, we... Oh, they think we're dead. The Big Feather will be fine. He'll figure it out. Mm. Trust I mean, Lu Lu like, Leopold could go and send Nils back or something. Yeah. I mean, like, as, as someone who knows his way around. <coughs> um, and, and also only needs to sleep for two hours, so probably was up oh, hours right, before everybody else. Mm. That's the case. So. <laughs> can, we, can we retcon that? Yeah. It's not a retcon at all if you want to have somebody um, sitting over there. Yeah. yeah. We know remember Lucas might go there. <laughs> well, yeah. that's why I was thinking we shouldn't stay there right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, Or but, leave but, a message. They, they should know that they shouldn't trust Lucas. Really, mm. Marguerite is happy to come with you for breakfast. Excellent. Fine, um, she will um, dine with you in mm. the uh, morning, um, where she has eggs on toast. Um, she very much enjoys those. Um, northern eggs are very different to the eggs that she's used to in the south. But then again, she did live a very unique part of the right country. Uh, eggs had legs. Right clan, total wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Midnight chickens are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that. Um, <clears throat> so, and you see Lucas on your way back. He is currently. See him. Um, uh, you hear him. See him. Oh. You encounter him. He's currently on a soapbox, proselytizing for the taxes. Oh. That could be a lot His hair is looking a little bit wild mm -hmm. as he's sitting there saying, <clears throat> um, the taxes are for the benefit of the city. We obviously have to, um, he says as he proselytizes from mm -hmm. his little soapbox that he's managed to secure. <clears throat> uh, ensure funds for the graph for the uh, potential conflict that could be ahead of us all. The, uh, <clears throat> as he quietens down as watch go by. But as I was saying, the graph obviously understands what is best for us. As he sits there. He's got quite low fellowship, but he's fine. It's also interesting that he quieted down when the watch went past. Yeah. yeah. Since he was Supporting. speaking in defense of the graph. Mm. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no, you're not there. Yeah. yeah. No, you're, you're, I mean, you're, you're back at the yeah. other place, but how, how, how far away from. From the townhouse somewhere. Oh, you're a good, uh, like, 20 minute walk. Right. He might be there for a while. Yeah, I'll, I'll hurry quickly remembering where he is. <laughs> no, I can stay here and watch him from a distance. I can ensure he doesn't go too far if necessary. I'd rather not leave you alone. I think I can look after myself. Just tell her about the echo feather. Are you, are you sure? I mean, the other day. Oh, no, I'm quite sure. I shall keep my distance. Fully recovered? Yes. As much as I need to be. And don't make eye contact. Absolutely. 
he says. I haven't seen it. I suppose I probably have Mills with me as well. Mm. So mm. I could leave Mills with her as well. Yeah, so you, Mills, you, do, you do what the good lady says. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Mills don't make eye, make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look everywhere but apart from it, Lucas. <laughs> He's still whistling. Can you arrive back? <laughs> um, I know where Lucas is. He's up on a soapbox, banging on about how great the taxes are. What? So what we should... Is that it? Yeah, I've left Marguerite and Mills watching him. We should blindfold him before he infects someone more influential. Well, he's only going to do that if he's under threat, I believe. But yeah, or if the thing finds someone who's more useful. Yeah, I mean, good heart. Can I punch Lucas? Um, just thought I'd get permission ahead of time, in just in case. No, that's fine. But actually, I've I've sort of prepared a little bit for this with the um with my shopping yesterday. Well, I say my shopping, the shopping that the lady's been out and got me. Um, and but you can administer it if you wish. Um, basically, if I put this on this rag, come up behind him, put it over his face, oh, he'll fall asleep in no time. Sure. Takes about two minutes. Two minutes. Just hold it over his mouth. <laughs> two and whole mouth, minutes. And mouth and nose for two minutes. Don't maybe, make eye contact. <laughs> maybe maybe when him. he's not on his soapbox, maybe when he nips off for a pee down an alleyway. Yeah, that's okay. Just make sure he breathes in. I, I, I would <laughs> put it over his face and then just jam your thumb just into the lower back. So you go, and then it'll, and it'll you know. All right. It's not much. I just rodeo. said lower back. <laughs> <laughs> What's a rodeo? That's another story. <clears throat> Are we attempting to secure our good friend Lucas? It's a good, it's a valuable resource. Shouldn't we have Laura on standby though? Mm. Can all bring him. You know where she is. Mm. Do you, um... And actually, he's probably closer to her. Mm. Than we are right now. Well, we figured it out how to do it now mm, without. Not really. No. She's right down the wind. Mm. Well, sure enough, yeah. but, but we're yeah, further. I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not saying yeah, they're close by, but yeah. yeah, he is en route to her. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, makes that's sense. Fair. Yeah, absolutely. But that is 100 percent the case. But if we we kick it out to Lucas, where's it going to go? Well, hopefully nowhere. If, if oh, it doesn't. eyes. What about your um, the thing in the basket? Drago. Yes. If it if it communicates through eyes and you get the eyes from Lucas Lucas's eye sorry one eye singular and you get it to look no, into I'm not hearing it. no no not yet into your um, <laughs> things eye which turns things into stone well not yet all right it paralyzes it sends you a bit wibbly wobbly it's happened to me it does do it um, but you didn't turn the stone though no but surely that might help you know you, or then you've just got um, a lizard who believes in taxation. <laughs> which <laughs> ultimately, I mean, your own six-legged six tax wizard. I mean, I a mean, pro-taxation basilisk. Like, I don't know that the empire can withstand <laughs> such a thing. We have a fiscally to. conservative basilisk. Is that not, not one of the prophecies? <laughs> That's quite a. Um, and then what? Blindfold the basilisk? Well, no, if you look, I at, the, I if wonder you look if, at it anyway. I wonder if I might be better served um, forming a distraction where I either climb on a soapbox and start making my own speech, attract some of the eyes around there towards me, freeing you up to do with Lucas without it's, eyewitnesses. No, that, that part I think we can we can do where we, we knock him out and we drag him off. It's yeah, getting you, it out of him. If you just do it in front of an audience, right? people might intervene. That's why we're, we're going to wait until he goes to pee or something. Assuming he will, he yeah, might just stand there pissing himself. It's a good distraction. It's a good distraction. We'll do that. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can say whatever you need. Um, but I do think putting it in the lizard actually is probably quite a good idea. What? Just put I'll tell you why. Because later on, well, <laughs> we don't look at it for several years. And then later on, <laughs> when if you do make eye contact well, with it, give it a mirror and then it will just no, no, turn you just itself. Turn it to somebody who you don't really care about, and you say, "Well, if you look at this," and then they look him in the eyes. The spell transfers into said person as well as petrification. Ego, spell, and person are kept in situ. Easy. Elegant solution. Just saying say fancy words doesn't make your idea good, I hope. No, the fact that it's a good idea makes it a good right, idea. Shall, shall we? Yes. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so, what is our plan? So, where 
his where he's doing his soapbox, mm-hmm. like is he like on a street in a square? Um, and he's a, in an open square. Yeah. Are there other people on soapboxes? Um, some are. Some of them are just standing. Some of them are street preaching. Some of them are juggling. Some of them are attempting to draw themselves. Um, are any of the street crowd. preachers as good as Leopold is at street preaching? Um, the answer is probably yes. Leopold <laughs> 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 is quite good. Yeah, <laughs> the, the answer is, is probably Lucas as good time. as. No, that's bad. No. No. No, 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 no. So what? No, I guess no, Leopold no. needs to stand near enough to basically what he's trying to do is trying to siphon off. And Lucas's audience. Lucas just spots you. It's like, hey, Liverpool, what are you doing over there? We're gonna have a rap battle. <laughs> yeah. Well, yep. but I might not have seen him when I kind of not have an eyes. Yeah. Flawless. Blind. Mm-hmm. Blind. Mm-hmm. Boys, they're skulking around the corner, ready to pounce. So Liverpool will just have a go and just yeah. love it. I'm gonna do um, three rolls um, for. Uh, for oh. those who are oh, interesting around, um, and you do yours. How many successes? Oh, is it charm? Yeah, it is indeed charm. And um, what's your uh, public speaking multiplier? Uh, so I've got twice as so times ten. Times ten, lovely. And I've got impassioned zeal. Lovely. We're talking about so unity in the empire, which is unity very much the empire. Your thing, love That's it. It's going to go down so well. Unity in the empire. Um, Sally only rolled one, so two successes. Two successes, oh. um, a, a good band of about 20 listening. Um, there is about a thousand gathered around in our chapel. Over must there. Have, as long but as they're not around Lucas. 100% not Lucas. That's fine. Yeah. Um, That's my uh, only job I, is to be. Uh, yeah, he. Like, I mean, I could have rolled role. much better. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite. Could have, would have, should have. Uh, crowd gathered round. Lucas, can I have a roll for Lucas, please? Does Lucas need nice. To win? <laughs> yeah, real bad. Um, <laughs> fellowship is this? Yeah. Yeah. So five fails. Oh, well done. <laughs> nice. Good job, Lucas. And um, I say taxes are great, hmm. and um, they'll help us, you know, uh, properly attack those in. The, I mean, uh, excuse me, ma'am. No. Uh, right. Um, uh, apparently, it's a big crowd over there. Um, and oh, oh, I say that. That's Leopold. <laughs> <laughs> As he um, makes his way over, <laughs> as he gets off the soapbox, is, is, is there a is there a, a sort of usual little opening that he's passing where I? Can... Uh, there is not. He's going across an open, crowded area, but crowded the, area. Before, yeah, it's cr- it's oh, it's crowded. very crowded. Make a crowd around me, people. <laughs> and we we'll shuffle around, yeah. and we'll just sort of uh, slowly <laughs> stop giggling. I mean, to be fair, they they like like fully like. Battered him over the head mm-hmm. in a crowd and like carried him through. Like nobody. Yeah, but it's yeah. Just pretend you're going to kiss him. Put it like but that. Then and then. then he just don't you? Don't breathe in. You don't breathe in. Put it. I'm doing it. For two minutes. It's <laughs> fine. You're, you're, much, you're, you're physically a lot larger than Lucas. So that will, you know, that it, it'll affect you differently. I'm not going any. Just. Just let me do my All right, thing. fine. Just put a bag over his head. <laughs> Drag him. Um, well, I thought so. Oh, hello. He says, as he turns around and sees you going, I, are you here to listen to Lucas? Uh, no, no, uh, sorry, um, uh, are you here to do, to, 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 to listen to? Um, to Leopold as well, that's it. So, I'm, obviously, I'm not looking at him. I'm going to stand side by side with him, looking at Leopold, going, well, you've know, got, got to support your mate, haven't you? Um, is he trying to make money? Because I'm not sure he's doing very well. There's not many people here. I thought I'd, you know, rah, rah, he says, y- y- unity. Yes. Come on, let's go and support him. And then she sort of claps him on the shoulder. And then as we're walking. And uh, then... He's not going anywhere. He's there to support me. Oh, he says, no, 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 no I'm yeah. going to stay here. Okay. Well, I'll sort of. Okay. <clears throat> Taxes. <laughs> is, there anybody, oh, is there anybody looking? I mean, there, there, everyone's kind of like, yeah. so in which case I, I will do that and go, you can drink him. Oh, let me hold you up. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. Yeah. Perfect. Don't worry, I've got you. Very it's brawling, fine. please. <sighs> Excuse me. I hope his leathery skin doesn't get in the way. What's his melee Second skill, probably. Uh, four Otherwise, successes. Yeah, it's gonna. Uh, uh, unless he has a ninety odd percent, because I'm rolling for him. No, he doesn't. He has thirty. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty-two. But eyes bulging. What are you doing? It's all right. Don't worry. We've he got you. He says. So you're holding him. What's everyone else doing? Are you just watching him? <laughs> <Standing there? laughs> yeah, yeah, back, to, back to them. That's it. Just cover his them. eye. Yeah. 
cover it was only what move his eye patch over. Okay, he's gonna try and break free from you. Okay. It's a twenty. T- oh my goodness! Is it a strength check? Or uh, it's a just contested strength. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we should have put on beast then. Zero, su- <laughs> zero successes. Zero successes beats his minus four. <laughs> um, um, as he's succeed. like. <laughs> I can't see you! What are you doing? What are you doing? Just as Lucas is for your own good. <clears throat> um, as someone passes you by, says, oh, I always is. And <laughs> <laughs> just walks by. Damn right. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is both a good thing and a terrible thing about the places that we live in. <laughs> as long as the watch don't come by, we'll, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll keep an eye out. They do. Of course they do. Not care. Yes. <laughs> um, as they literally walk past. Yeah. It's not their job to keep the Emperor's peace unless someone's complaining. Mm. Or indeed, in this case, the Graf's peace. Um, they, it, there's nothing really been broken here as far as this particular group of watch. And yes, I rolled it. Um, I'm <laughs> concerned. They're like, yeah, whatevs. I've got better things to worry about. Like, you know. Taxes. Anything that doesn't involve a southerner. Wearing southern colours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. We've got better things to do as they just walk straight by. Awesome. Love them anyway. You have yourself a limp. Lucas. Lucas. I'll throw him over my shoulder if I can. <laughs> and uh, should we take him back to the townhouse? Yeah, I think we'll Or do we take him to Valora? Take him to Valora. Yeah. Well, you just punched it out of. Um, you made beforehand. <laughs> no, that that wasn't the punch. We should take him to my lord. Are you sure? Yes, and which, by the way, we should talk about that. What happened? I'm assuming you felt it. I, I, I'm oh, assuming, yeah, you're I'm not here. You're is, not here. Once, once I'm I assuming finished. he felt it. Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to give me like a thumbs up. Except I, I can't yeah. see anyone. Oi, so for Liverpool, <laughs> get over here. We got him. I'm in Liverpool. I'm here all week. <laughs> Oh, do you get some money for that? Don't know. Do I get some earning, no, earning no. Oh. That's good that the watch aren't invested in the blind Sigmarite. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. It was literally in the papers for money. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so. We're heading to Valora's Forge. Forge. That's about 40 minutes later. George, Can I please George. have a toughness, no, an endurance test from Lucas? Oh. Yeah. I'll just see if he wakes up. <laughs> Too much. I will put him under again. Oh, if I um, he's probably okay, actually. Are we successes? Zero successes. Zero successes. Yeah. I mean, I doubt. <laughs> I don't think he has anything that will make it any cop either. Yeah, no, zero. Zero. Yeah, he's not waking up yet. Um, still too close to being drugged. He's number of successes and that drops. Oh, okay. pass. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, you eventually arrive down. Rod, I'm in a way. Yes. You arrive at the townhouse. <laughs> You're tired. She's now. Um, <clears throat> there's a certain amount of bullshit here. Um, <laughs> as tap, 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 and the maid looks at you and says, um, Could Is there up? anything I can help with? My, I was staying here yesterday. My friends were staying here. Right, right, of course. You're, you're, you're that lady. Um, they've, they've gone out. All of them? Uh, they 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 left a note. Well, excellent. What does the note say? Gone to kidnap Lucas. <laughs> Meet back, us back in soon. the wine. It says, "Dear Al." <laughs> <laughs> in Alex's handwriting. <laughs> well, where is the wine? He says, "Well, we're in wine. It's a big place." Is that all? <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, we would have known left. that we were going to take it to Valora. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I've been there. I thought we were putting it into the lizard. You weren't in Valora's mm, no, forge. Okay, yeah. But but Lupo, has, so he, Lupo will have left the best instructions that he can with them. Well, no, you may no. only written that, but then Lupo like and, scribbled and, and things, and then we'll and then we'll come back. So you may decide to just run away. And then the bottom says Pierce. I might not even have to punch him. Great, huh? <laughs> Sigfeder wasn't around. I felt left no. out. <laughs> Interesting. 
it has a small weep that the fate of the world is in the hands <laughs> of the people that have read this note. Um, I think she'll go out and try and get someone to pay someone to take her to Valora's Ford. Hmm. It's carnival time. Mm. Plus, also, I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no money is going to make that tough. Perhaps the gold I gave you. Uh, who knows? <laughs> you could probably earn some money. It's here, look. <laughs> <clears throat> While she's deliberating as to what she's doing, you make your way down towards Baloris Forge. You get there somewhat close to midday. She isn't here. It's not. Arthur is. <clears throat> you uh you remember his name. You remember him as a tall bloke. And as it turns out. Much taller than you thought he was when you were looking at him across the room. As he looks down on Leopold. Oh, wow. Um, not by much, but he does look down on him. And he's muscled ish. A muscled man. And uh, turns around and says, Hey, oh, you were expected last night. Last night? Oh, yeah, partly you owe daggers. I owe 15, yeah, but she never said when. <laughs> well, I actually want to be in room when you uh, tell her that. <sighs> That's fine. I I just need clearer instructions, I suppose. <clears throat> uh, you tell her that. <laughs> Call yourself a foolish onion. You tell her that. Do you know where she's gone to? Right, there was some swearing and talking some sense into some s- foolish beardlings. Um, a whole, uh, they're like a whole host hiking it out. Mm-hmm. They're off down to Mishide. And she went to speak to them again? Well, she thought she might be able to make them see sense. Mm-hmm. And I said, will I be able to hear you from here over at Forge? And she said, hi. Probably. No, it's quite distant. I won't be able to hear her, but that gives you an idea of what she's going to be doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you hear her? Can we hear her? That's beyond even radar <laughs> ears. Put, put your ear to the ground first. <laughs> tip, tip, for the vibrations. Yeah. Tip your hat. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, I guess we're in need of her services. We may as well just go look for her. I don't really want to be carting Lucas mm. first. You, uh, you're n- and you're going to be trying to tell her off at the same time. You're an idiot. <laughs> I, I, I really love, I'm looking forward to this. I suggest you go up to her and you tell her to come back to Forge first. Why don't... He says, <laughs> while, they're, trying, donk, while they're having this conversation, donk, donk. Leopold will gag Lucas. <laughs> so, he, so that if he wakes up, he can't cast any spells. And good. Lucas is... Some of that, some of that, I can't even say it, is gagged. We could leave some Lucas here rather, whilst you make your 15 daggers. Like, be... And then we'll go <laughs> get the stuff we need for the party and come get you later on. How long does it take to make 15 daggers? He I doesn't know. know. <laughs> I, I'd imagine more than like three hours. You could give it to How long would it take to make 15 daggers? He says, well, for me or for him? Half and half. Two days. Two days? No, few. A few days. Oh, it won't last but, more than two. But you could make a start. <laughs> Maybe a week. Maybe it longer. Would, <clears throat> it would help him, his course, though, to start, right? Like, if he's come in in the morning and started? Uh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I don't want... Of well, course, you do whatever temper. you want. And the, the easiest way to deal with her temper is to just say, I. You just say, mm. I, to everything she says. And then there's no temper at all. Well, it's quite ironic, considering it's a smithy. Because you obviously want to temper sometimes. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Yes. No. Oh, I see what you did there. It says, bloody hell. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get his hammers. <laughs> 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 nice. Right, you go on. I may as well try and get something. Let's get these forges getting hotter. And now we'll begin to channel in, actually. Is there like a room we could like tie him up in? <laughs> I right. mean, 
Ah, but you know this. Oh. No, I'll stay here. I'll stay here with Lucas. And Elric, there's the plan. I can keep under control. Well, but I think we're, if we're going to go to the garden party, I think we definitely do want to go to the garden party. Yeah, well, we definitely need you. No, well, I mean, ideally, we'd come get Elric back, no? Well, yeah. But my, my point is, it's already after midday. It takes hours to cross this city. We're not going to cross the city, come back, and then go back again. Meet us at the garden party in our gardens at four. Right. Do that. And find someone to And if Flora's not come back. If you want, I, 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 I can look after you, fella, in the neighbour of Lammer, if necessary. I mean, if I heard all about what happened over at Guild. If we're even tied up, gagged and blindfolded, should be fine. Well, I've seen myself a bit of trouble in my time. So he's some sort of spell wizard thing. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Mm-hmm. He says, won't be a problem. Don't kill him, but... <clears throat> well, I've got a lot of hammers. That'll Luke. do for his head if he should try to do anything silly. But if he's tied up, there'll be no problems. We'll just need more of that stuff. She's already given word that she'll uh, sort out this problem. Okay. So I don't think there'll be any... I mean, I could tell her. There won't be no problems. She'll blame someone else. I'm merely a messenger. And she won't be shooting no messenger, no hammering them, no any equivalent. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll give you freedom to move on if you wish. I advise her. She's going to be in a foul mood when she comes back. I love that. Because she, she's not going to get her way when safe. she's over there. That don't much worry. is certain. Fine. You still want to do your. Well, if you'll take care of him. Ah! I'll, I mean, take care. <laughs> it's not the. <laughs> I'll not, look after him, is what I'm saying. Him. I'm not. You'll be all right, won't you? There. What's his name? Lucas. Lucas. Oh, so bloody southern. <laughs> Bam. 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 Not really. No. Bam. Well, I suppose I'm coming, witches. He'll just release his actually into the forge. Bye bye, bye bye. That's what we're talking about. <clears throat> he says. I'll be back to learn. Why don't you deal? Say, keep it warm and get three daggers out of it. No, I'll no. make the daggers myself. Okay. You'd probably be able to <clears throat> Good luck with it, dear. <clears throat> says, Renal, I'll be with you. <laughs> <laughs> he says. Yes. <laughs> so. Is that what you do? <clears throat> I'm assuming so. Simple for now. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah, is there like fingers. a response to Renal being with you? Um, you can pretty much make it up. There's as many responses as there is people who make them, and yeah. also with you. Mm. <laughs> many yeah, of them it. are. Not if he per- sees me first, <laughs> particularly crude. So, um, up at the manor, what are you doing? I think I'm gonna wait because I don't trust myself to get someone to take me into the wind with no money. It's about. 45 minutes later, as you're sitting down there, having been waited upon for the last while, still in your outfit from yesterday because you don't have all your stuff, mm. um, when there's a knocking at the door. Looks like they might be back. <laughs> um, you hear a message. To, to, to be here, I'm here to find him. Um, uh, you know, he's chubby. <laughs> he says. <laughs> to, to be fair, we might have left Marguerite at the time. Right? She <clears throat> might not have wanted to schlep. I think that's us. it. She, yeah, she'll be, be making her way back up. Yeah, yeah. Marguerite can come so, over. Um, yeah, she'll uh, she'll just be company. knitting in the corner. Come on. Come on. Um, Unless she was really curious about the thing that was no. in Lucas. No. no, she doesn't want to be anywhere near it. She doesn't need to be. Does she know if it's something that her grandfather might have known how to do? Interesting. No, it's quite the, quite beyond what she would consider to be the standard remit of what he's doing. Mm-hmm. That's good to know. <clears throat> it's also alarming. As um, she says, it looks like Sigfred or something. Yeah, my dear, Sigfred, huh? She calls. I, I, that's the uh, lady. As um, the servant comes in and says, Yes, and you want my name? Yes, yeah, you want my lady? <laughs> looks at your ears, looks at Marguerite, who's knitting. <coughs> Um, you... What's your name? <laughs> Sigfeder comes in with a big smile on his face. <laughs> Yawn, he says. Where is everyone? <laughs> well. Where's my boy? Is he left... dead? No. They left me this note. 
very serious no yeah. from serious people they what about your fuckwits <laughs> he says as he drops, drops it down Basically, funny though we... hey they're funny eh? they're funny here lass can you get some tea um hi what was that what the fuck are you wearing i mean i like it thank you hey it's a bunny outfit <laughs> <laughs> i mean i i get i i, I, I fucking hell <laughs> Are you for hire? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I figured as much. <clears throat> I mean, I've got a discerning taste. <laughs> he says, <laughs> No, you don't. <clears throat> hey! He says, Yes, what is it? When we were at the theatre, you were the most rugged of women. Aye, I've got a discerning taste. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just what I said. So where are they? They, I presume, have gone to... Why are they looking for him? Why isn't he just... Is there something you need to tell me? Yes. Hey, pass it over, will you? And you do. <laughs> <clears throat> As um, you make your way back through town, eventually arriving back at the town house. I'm also going to tell on Gertrude. You absolute <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> As somebody who's meant to keep secrets. <laughs> Fuck Birdie's worst. betrayal. <laughs> this is worse. <laughs> She's the worst, right? <laughs> At least I had a good reason for it. Oh, like something. I was just doing it. I just oh, could it. you just pull that dagger from my back? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's Although, all because she... of her path. <laughs> 14 more betrayals and then Elric's debt's paid. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nice. No, I'm not with you. It took me a while. <laughs> Super numerate failed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did that. Two birdies. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> it's about two o'clock in the afternoon when you arrive <laughs> feeling peckish a little bit hungry as uh, the servant sees you in he's gone already what's a critter? yeah <laughs> He um he ran out of patience about half an hour ago and he's like, I've got fucking things to do. He's like, <clears throat> when he's back, mm-hmm. don't see anything. Right. Oh, for goodness sake, you're such a child. <laughs> says as she looks up. Why don't you just take his tutelage seriously? I'm fucking taking it seriously. Don't see a thing. Yes, Master. Fuck off. <laughs> Don't be saying things like that when you're wearing something like that. Master Bunny. Oh, no. I'm out of here. I just. No. 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 Fucking elves. <clears throat> As he makes his way out. Uh, Master Frey Dan, she says. And she holds it up as a skull. Oh, I like it. Black on white. Black skull and white. Yes, I thought I might give it to Lucas, given his current trevise. He goes rather well with his patch, I think. He does. Says, and he is looking for something to mop at his brow. He gets sweaty sometimes. And I thought something absorbent would be better. That's says, very kind of you. As you all arrive. <clears throat> Margarita is, of course, there. Oh, my <laughs> wife is there. As, um, no one else is here. <laughs> no one else is here. As um, she starts um, on an entirely new piece, this time in red. <clears throat> she looks up. Did you have any success in your endeavours with Master Mueller? We left him at the Dwarf's Forge. The Lord wasn't there, so. She should be able to cure him, hopefully. Actually, is it something you really might be able to no no nothing i wouldn't like to risk it lest i got it wrong right um given that their their magisters didn't think that they could deal with it i think that i would be no better okay fair enough i've been meaning to talk to you actually about something yes what is it do, do you remember when are we all here or is this yeah, yeah no, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. You know, do you remember when we um we were working on my issue with the book yes and you spoke to the book yeah in its language, yes. whatever it was. Um, it sounded, as all languages do when you don't understand it, just like utter something, nothing. But um, I would be willing to, or interested in at least learning it if possible. 
Is that something we could look into, potentially? No. Yeah. I don't trust you yet. You make rash decisions and poor judgment calls. This language is fundamental to the very nature of things. To speak it is to speak to the material itself. It can cause things to shake. And I would not rely upon someone like you to not just simply test it. She got you by your rights there. Mm. Yeah, no, that's fair <laughs> enough. If, if that is the case, I, I understand. Matured, it perhaps. I don't um, Maturity, it may not have anything to do with it. It's just the way I look at outlook on life. No, when you have matured, which mm. will come with time. Um, my lady, do you by any chance know of any language that would help me speak to spirits? And a half smile. Now this. that you're talking about languages. I would say that you are even less mature than Gerhard. <laughs> <laughs> she says. It's harsh. No, it's not harsh. I think it is fair. Unfortunately, I don't know Gerhard if I... Gerhard has at least intellectual curiosity. She is playful. Curiosity. Which is worse. Um, <laughs> it's unreliable. My Gerhard lady, I is don't reliable. Think wow. Great job of the truth bombs tonight. <laughs> of whether I... I it, I I will have to interact with them whether I like it or not. Surely it would be better to be prepared. No. Okay. No. Um. I, let me give you an analogy. <coughs> is it the same language? Is it what you were talking about? I think about? it might be. Yes, oh. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was I was sort of thinking I could learn from teacher to you. Ah, oh, that's nice of you. You are requesting to talk to something, and what you are requesting is the equivalent of, and I shall give you a simple answer. You are saying, I would like to light a match. Please, give me the sun. And to which I say, no. Well, I'd be happy to just have a match, but I don't know what that is, so. Nor do I for what you are. Mm. I have a perhaps more I'm innocent cross my beard. query. <laughs> she, she smiles. This is quite the series of interactions. C can you tell us anything about the, the anchor? Did I get that right? Um, if I had access to my library, I would have <coughs> it up in kind. The word means it is an interesting word. A how is it spelled? Aincon or Aincon? Aincon? It's not you that said it. <laughs> yes, but. Uh, it's the place I was talking about when we were on the barge and you told me to make his shadow go there. Yes. The shadow place. Yes. Yes. So she knows of the place. You just hadn't heard the word. Right. That is fascinating. So that means <clears throat> the place on the other side of judgment. Interesting. I think would be the best way of viewing it. There is many stories concerning judgment and the grey wind. That, that's the place where I was trapped before. Hmm. Then it is interesting that something judged you. It felt like it might be like the end of, of everything. Hmm. Like after. That is fascinating. You know, like after the world had ended, but and that is not hopeful. She says, "I shall add some more blood drops to this." I think <coughs> she continues her knitting. Okay, well, should we get ready for the party? I have a question. Oh yes, I hope it's to me. Yes, that's all right. <laughs> yes, she says. <laughs> she turns around with a so, smile on so her face. Asking, we're doing quiz, great. <laughs> um, would you like some tea? No, I'm fine, thank you. How servant comes in, pours her some tea. You know that I have that demon problem. <laughs> <laughs> she waves at the servant who backs away <laughs> and leaves. Decker. <laughs> um, when Valora was solving the problem, yeah, she said that she throws something out of me. Mm -hmm. Would that have fixed it? No. So I wonder what it was then. Any ideas? No. Um, 
But sadly, I couldn't really say. Oh, well, so you briefly died, so maybe it had come from a little bit. True. Um, also, mm. uh, I, I believe it might be Elric's turn. Oh, this is... <laughs> Go ahead, okay, it's a game, sure. <laughs> and a slight smile spreads across <laughs> the face. What any questions you'd like to ask? Do you know how to make daggers? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes. Um, I can. There's a spell that I learned when I was quite young that uh, conjures daggers from Shaish itself. No, not quite what I need, but, but thank you. Hmm. There you so, go. Go hearts time. Let me ask first, are we not done with this interminable questioning? <laughs> that was a question. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do believe that was her turn. <laughs> and I think the answer when it comes to Gerhardt will always be no. I bow to your superior knowledge of the man. Let us see if we are correct. I'm just enjoying sort of seeing you quite uh, animated. It's good. Um, I have very little to do. <laughs> <laughs> very little to do here. I have no books. There's nothing to study. Um, we should and your well, master mm-hmm. has proven to be quite ineffective at securing me something interesting to read. Okay. When he is in one of the finest repositories in the empire of information. And is he providing me with anything? No. Has he promised it? Yes. He probably has said that there's some sort of strange task where you have to go and get it yourself or something I'm not like his that. Student. Oh no, but you this are. seems to be the way he operates. But however, that's with you, good to know. Of course. Yes. Um with Birdie, actually, she lo- she lost a finger and it's completely grown back. Which I thought you'd find quite interesting. It's not really a question, You're actually. You're regenerating. Just the finger. When she Just died and walked back up. Well, that would be a continuation of regenerating. Then either you have picked up some unfortunate mutation. Or... A watch me. General suggestion that you might be a little more than many people believe seems to be accurate. It does mean that you are unlikely to die anytime soon. I just did. No, you didn't, because you'd be dead. Mm. Nearly then. <clears throat> well, for most people, it is fatal. True. Most. Exactly. <laughs> You either die or you don't die. You don't nearly die. You either die or you don't die. And you didn't die. Do you want to do the question back round? We've all asked you one. Do you want to ask us all one? Do we have time? What yeah, no, we've got time. Let's just fill, fill the queue. We've got time. Hours hours before we go on. Well, if we've got a few hours, then we should... Start um, getting ready. We'll get ready. I do have a question. Okay, good. What do you intend to wear to the most prestigious event in the North? Because if you are not prepared for this, trust me. Oh, yeah, so I'm my crap out there, haven't I? You are not going to impress anybody. My mm. lord, I fear that you are not well prepared for this. You can't show your face, you're wanted. Yes, sir, that is a problem. Actually, Why didn't think wanted? that. Because no, the, the man he looks like was he's, wanted, and but he's, he's dead. now dead. Oh, it's been announced that he's dead. And so he's I'm got theoretically a off the hook. Seeking asylum as himself. I guess. I also have a moustache. They'll still have a <laughs> True. She nods. Maybe we he can does. put some paint on you? No, I think this is... Um... He also has a scar. He didn't. Yeah, also that. Or 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 maybe a, a mask. We'll get you a mask. I think it's a, it might need, um, a lack of a better term, a professional's touch. Somebody... I think I need to speak to Lucas. Lucas, I might need to let go from a position of hiring. He seems to be taking on a different role now, but somebody who fulfilled Lucas's initial role, uh, who's actually sort of trained in the arts, probably a good idea. Lucas's initial role was as your advisor. I mean, that's literally what you asked him to be. You just decided to make him a manservant because you didn't have one. <laughs> so you're needing you that's need need history. That is what he was when we found him. Also, what would no. one... Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> It was not. He was no, no, it doesn't matter. He was advising, you're, and no, no, no. I think you're misremembering. With what money? <laughs> what? You owe me like ten gold coins. Charge to my father. That's how it all works. So, um, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm just going to expire here. <laughs> I need to find. Uh, yeah, so a valet. It was a good, I'm going good to idea. So, um, a valet. A valet. Are you Where not going to change your outfit? You've already been a bunny. Exactly. 
I'll if, think of something. In two hours? Yes. Well, I'm glad you'll think of it, but the reality will be quite different. I have a beautiful dress that was gifted to me. I can wear that. It's Talabheimer style, but still. I'm an elf. Yeah, okay. Um, What's Talabheimer style? Filthy as fuck. Oh. <laughs> Do you mean is it more, unwashed? More, more than your current costume? Oh, yes. Marvellous. Now we're staring daggers. Nice <laughs> <laughs> oh, to sorry. meet you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you're from Talabek land, right? Not Talabheim. I'm close to Talabheim. Well, close to filthy as fuck, it's not that bad. <laughs> That's just filthy as shit. Exactly. <laughs> <hell>. Slightly groping. <laughs> Alright, uh, could we, um, that, that woman you know who bought the tea. There are services which you could employ in Middenheim. I did not know this. I need to know where they are. I'll find out. We'll find I out. I have considered employing one myself, but I need a maid. You need to go to Grassman. There's an entire. There's a business and maids up there, and obviously valets as okay. well. Okay. Well, that doesn't solve our outfit problem. No, right it does. They can do all of us. But what money? A promissory note of payment. It's fine. You write From your. A dude in the south? Yeah, they're, they're all right with From it. From a guy who doesn't look like an elbow. It's not right thing. now. He's got his paper. I wouldn't yeah. need. I, oh, I've got the papers. Don't worry about it. That's how it works. You try and. Just. You can't. I know how to noble. You chill the fuck out, all right? <laughs> Yeah, no, the <laughs> I'm, I'm very chill. I just also just know always, that most servants don't read. Always naysaying, give me a little bit of gin. Just, I'm just, I'm just, um, can we can segue into our we, pretty woman montage now? Can we please just run Huge down? Mistake. <laughs> can we run down some of the names that we were given yesterday with by the lady of the house with Magritte to see if they are known aliases of our grandfather or family names or such like? Mm. Oh, it shouldn't take too long. I'm sure he said that he had no known aliases, but maybe just... Mm-hmm. Probably the, the pings. Family names and things. Yes. Or, or maybe descriptions, you know, like the long... Or there's three different characters, perhaps. Exactly. And she'll just, like... Read out the list. Yeah, she we... listens to them. No. No. Mm-hmm. No. And no. And she looks down at your list. No. Oh well. I'm frankly sorry. Worth a try. Or maybe explain try. like what the law lords would do. Because it seems likely that if he's gonna infiltrate and have his power, that would be one of the roles. Yeah, one of them uh, used to be a judge, so it's unlikely it's him, but the other two have been here less like four or three, three years. Three or four years, I think. Uh, one of them really likes parks. And is more prolific at court, perhaps. Very possibly. Which one was that? Uh, Vasmir. 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 Mm-hmm. That's 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 possible. He. It sounds like a southern name. It's a... Well, if he see, if he's dressed up as somebody else, he, he might not pretend to be from the south. If only there was some way for us to find out what he looked like or who he was pretending to be. Could you tell us that? If you, could you do an oracle of some kind? Can I do an oracle of some kind? Of course you can. Might save us a lot of legwork. There you go. So it might go very, very badly. Oh, no, it's a pass. Nice. Yeah. Oh, we get a metaphor about what we'll it looks it. like. We'll get a confusing <laughs> metaphor. Well, it's better than nothing. Successes? I j- I'll just... Oh, well, oh, do my talents help? We were saying you should use the cards from Mysterium to, like, <laughs> show <laughs> visions. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think any of my talents help, so just one success. I'll use. Okay, right, no, Bob. <laughs> Go <laughs> buy it! Um, <laughs> tell, tell us about Dark Dates, have they? <laughs> Not just now, but I will later. <laughs> success is actually, one actually no, I think Empathic does just add to Intuition Test, so one. Oh, one. There yeah. we go. The others are circum. So two. Excellent. Excellent. That's not too bad. Wait, one or two? Two, 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 two. Birdie asks almost sarcastically, and you feel a burning cold in your eyes, and it comes hand in hand with a certain level of it's not good, really not good. You can feel what judgment. 
judgment. And it's cold. Really, really cold. You try to uh, figure out what this means when you speak out loud. Unbidden, the words just slip from your lips. <laughs> in that the big? highest, he says, places do the purple prophecies lie. Come one, come two, and then we all die. And you are quite certain one has already come for this group. Well, that's not great. <laughs> that doesn't really help, does it, with Paul? Do you want to have another go? <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll add the context there. I think one's already come. Okay, so one as in the prophecy or the man? The prophecy. Well, a prophecy did come true yesterday. That's true. And is is the end of that book can be trusted? Or the thing that we meaning to talk to you and we got in sidetracked every time. What about your need to get close for the party in no. about an hour and a half? Um, the the prophecy. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm going dressed like this. I'll send all the servants. Why don't we talk we while we're getting dressed? Yes. I'm just wearing my uniform. That's fair. I've got stuff to do. My hair isn't going to do itself. I'm going to sort of like. Perfect. I've got to tell him. <laughs> Presumably, I can send one of the servants to with my writ to. If you don't want to give your patent of ability to someone. I do. Yeah, no, don't. No. 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 Oh, send, send, no. Sending a servant from here is a much better idea than rocking up with your writ. With my writ, though. No. Otherwise they won't turn no. up. No, they will. If, if, but if a servant of the Graf's champion rocks up and says there's a noble who needs a servant, right, yeah, they well, might believe. That's what I was saying I was going to do. Don't yeah. send yeah. Just don't send them with more papers. All right, fine. Well, can I do that? problems we had when I'm you sure. didn't have One of them can leave. And there's four servants here. and They're quite happy there. Treats off. You've been very helpful. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be so. Okay. Servant's gone. The dresses that I got um, in Birkenhaf from when we were shopping specifically for this kind They're of occasion. They're back at the hotel store. Yeah, that's not easy. Can we send a servant to go retrieve our stuff? It'll take a couple of hours possibly right. to get there and back. Interesting. Is Impossible. the inn closer to the garden oh, party too. than we are? I know, it's the opposite no. direction. Okay. Could we send them in a coach? Yeah, you probably could. It'll cost a lot. How much? Um, not that much. It'll cost around about a little bit of a wait. Um, you're you are in Square Marshall, so not that long a wait. You're talking maybe about ten shillings round trip. Yeah, do it. Okay, three gold coins. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find my money. There it is. <clears throat> Marvelous. Um, so that can get all of your things back from there. Um. So, 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 so having done that, well. are the dresses that I got in Bergen half and suitable for this kind of thing? They're suitable as they're going to be. They're very southern. Oh, I should have kept the Middenheim dress. I didn't realise I was going to need Yeah, it. quite. You didn't, did you? Yeah, damn it. Yeah, quite. So, uh, let's quickly sum this. The servant is not back that by about sense. a quarter to four. Um, so the party starts at four? Pardon, the party starts at four, quite. Shit. Um, so that's worth noting. Be fashionable, right? So yeah. you're in your uniform. Yep, that, that's easy. That's super clean. Yeah. Uh, what's Garhart going to do? Well, While you're considering that, you're um, dressed as a uh, Kislevite. Mm -hmm. Life is good. How about the good father? Dressed as a priest. Perfect. It'd be, it'd be nice if Birdie could do his hair, but if she hasn't got time, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I can do your hair. Excellent. Do you still trade grooming roll, please? Oh, and you are dressed in. It was Alamein who messed up last time. So. You're probably that <laughs> pressure. I mean, it's good quality. It is? For a shitty dress. Oh, four successes. You're looking very good. <laughs> so, just you wait. Talapaiver dresses. Um, different, obviously. Grand provinces have got all of their own various cultures. And amongst the upper classes of Talapaim in particular, there is a strong inclination towards 
let's say, what would be considered to be scandalous dress in other provinces, largely because they have long worshipped Tal and Raya, gods that are far more earthy than you would perhaps find in other provinces. As we know, Sigmarism was long banned, actually outlawed, in Talapaim and Talabic land and the Ottoman Empire, as it used to be called. One whole section of the empire that for a long period of time was separate from Reichland, separate from the wolf emperors in the north. And they did things differently. They had gods that were very much focused around fertility and life in a way that just wasn't the case elsewhere. Good old wolves and winter and war in the north, good old Sigmar and getting together and being very prissy over in <laughs> um, <coughs> the rest of the empire. Prissy. Um, where certain fashions over the course of time um, became prevalent, particularly given that there were so many female rulers. And it all focused around just one thing, a very, very impressive ruby that was inserted into the tummy button of the empress. Mm. And they liked to display it. And as time went by, it got deeper <laughs> and deeper <laughs> and deeper and higher to either side. Mm. Until eventually it cut right down to, if you're any deeper, you can't go deeper. Well, no, you could. Then it would just be a waistcoat. That would be the wrong sort of going deeper. <laughs> um, so it just goes right down. And it is, she accurately described it, filthy. Actually filthy. She could almost be walking naked because it splits right down and on the side, cuts up mm. to about there on either side. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ralph. <laughs> um, <laughs> to either side <clears throat> as well. That's not the sort of thing that normal folks wear. See? But it's as you chilly. know, the upper classes of uh, Talapine, there are a certain segment, particularly the young, that like to wear clothes that are significantly uh, let's say, unappreciated elsewhere in the empire. The men are no better. Their courts are very different to elsewhere. you That's, that's very much a Talapine thing. You came in the forest. Tal's deep, right? Tal's deep. Mm -hmm. Quite. Just south of Talapine. Like, part, part of Talapine, actually. But that's what we came up to. So, yeah. Oof. <clears throat> Oof. It's a summer party, so I might as well be cool. Sure. So, are we heading off to a party? What are you wearing? Um, shit. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going this to This is the worst! I know, it's awful. <laughs> I'm not going to present myself as a noble if that's the case. I'll present myself as a doctor. Well, that's what I am. And we know well, you had proper needed. doctor's clothes. Well, I've got a nice outfit. So not doctors. Got, what does a doctor wear? Do you not have your old noble like your clothes from before? And you've We've been the... travelling in those for months. Yeah, yeah. they are. Yeah, yeah but so they probably not good. Longer at the hotel. I mean, it's imagine. better to look like you haven't tried than you've tried and it's a bit shit. Yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah. wouldn't they be longer at the hotel if you've not been wearing? What hotel? The hotel that we the were staying at. They, they, they yeah. don't do laundry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely three star, not five star. <laughs> we need to have bathhouses or anything. So yeah. right. I wanted to, but then we had to do things. Oh, yeah, how big is this? How big is the draft champion? How big is the draft champion? So that's why you're four? in disguise. Yeah. So you can be stuff. openly in disguise huh? if you're going to announce yourself. I'm going to. Uh, if you decide not to announce yourself, that's fine. But I you, don't know. I'll, oh, for fuck's you, sake. If you do decide, I'll be late. <laughs> if, you, if you do decide to announce yourself and ask for sanctuary, you've got a reason for being in disguise because you're in disguise because you're coming to ask for sanctuary. Yeah, you just don't do that to party. Well, where, when else are you going to go get in and stuff? That's the only time you manage to, like. It's not letters. It's quite right. like Fine, fine, like, fine, 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 fine. Like, fine. Some, it. like something out of a romance <sighs> novel. People will eat it up. This is not out of any romance novel that I would write. No, yes, yeah, yours, yours would be very. I shudder at the top. Uh, yes. <laughs> and, no, I'd love you, you to have read a, that. Please you have do. a very precise view on the world, which is very nice, but hence what you're. What's that? What is the picture that you're doing at the moment? Dripping blood. Yes. See? Um, oh, so. I like that. It looks good. Um, this is actually for you. Oh, okay. You're always bleeding. I am. It's true. And that wound you have on your chin. Yeah. So, <clears throat> at least the blood won't show. Oh, 
also so thoughtful. I suppose it doesn't matter if he's a little bit late. People are always late. Yes, I'll just. Um, yes, but I don't you're want looking to speak to as world. many people as you possibly can. Yeah. Well, you, you know, you're going to be late. Right. Oh, right. I've got, so it. Got, it. Go I've got it. 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 Got it. Got it. Okay. So I'm going to go via this. Um, what did you call it? The J. Begin with the J. G. What, what? The you place where the servants are. The, the that will take you at least an hour and a half to get to. That's fine. And they're not going to conjure you up a suit of clothes. No, 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 but they can at least tart me up somewhat. You'll be finished in terms of the party. Bollocks. Just go and Just leave. look scruffy. Okay, fine. This is he smiles. Rubbish. You can let your wonderful personality <laughs> shine instead. <laughs> she laughs and stops. <laughs> Anyway, why are you like avoiding my question? What question? No, we did go off it again. Actually. <laughs> what is happening? You, you never go as far as asking it. When the I thing... would suggest, though, my lady, leave <laughs> now. We do it while we walk. Sure that you, because there'll be why? a few. Yeah. yeah, there'll be many with invitations. Just ask it quiet. Discuss it along the way. I presume. Yeah. We could get a coach. There's, you're in the square of marshals. It's not more than about. Ah. Uh. Six minutes that way. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm not Across used the to, square. I'm not used to this um, <clears throat> area of the city. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when the thing took over, it made me pray. And then... And that woke it up. Yes. Shouldn't we... Why are we freaking out about this? Why are you freaking out about this? What good would that do? I mean, at least we should tell the others. I don't know how to explain it. it Oh, I thought they knew when I yelled, it's awake. Yeah, but so many things were happening. I don't think they realised. Yeah, but who knows what it is? What what else would it be? Anything that sleeps. Something inside. (laughs) (laughs) Anything that sleeps. (laughs) A tree. Was it the basilisk? (laughs) No, the the thing that was trapped in that... The body that I discovered? Monastery of the side of outdoor. It was woken up by the thing inside of me at the time what? and it escaped it's out in outdoor why didn't you tell us I was trying to <laughs> you kept interrupting me why does like nobody ever listen you should have pushed on <laughs> I mean to, to be fair it wasn't something we could really discuss in the company we were yeah, in at the time have nervous <laughs> <laughs> do you know what you yeah. should do you should really like 15 daggers <laughs> <laughs> I mean realistically That's terrifying. What, what's to be done can you send word to anybody? Well, no, no. because mm-hmm. amongst what other, did it amongst mean? It other, woke up. How did it wake up? It just. I think it's connected to so? whatever your fox was. What did you, but how did it wake up? I don't understand. <laughs> because she called on it. What? The, the, I, the spell that was in it her. made me pray, and apparently the prayer went to that. Because. Interesting. Holds hair back Thank like you. like a good girlfriend. I, I got a more alarming, well, no, more alarming, a different alarming realization, which is I am the only true prophet of Sigma. Yeah, Does that come with possibly t- a t-shirt or? <laughs> or indeed the only true priest of Sigma? Are you sure? What? What do you mean? What? How how is that connected? Well, we knew there was something up with the Grand Theagenes, right? Who's the head of the cult. All, all the rest of them. I'm going to say this really quietly so that nobody we're hears all, it. We're all leaning in. All the rest of them? The Sigmarian heresy? It's true. But Teclis was wrong. It's not all priests. It's just Sigmar priests. Except <gasps> me. Although maybe it's Omric rather than Sigmar. Mm. I don't understand. I don't entirely understand either. Sigmar has a whole idea that all priests have gone. No, no, I, I remember that part, but I don't understand why you now can state that with any certainty. Because in terror at the thing that you woke up, the shadow passenger in me woke up. And? And I gained some sense of what it knew. And? and that's something it knew. Okay. <laughs> and we trust it. Well, it's not a question of trust. It doesn't have will. It doesn't have a mind. Oh, it doesn't have a, a I can't, an agenda. It, 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 it doesn't right. have conscious thought. Right. So why are you? Hmm? Why are you? 
Why me? What? Why, why are you? Why are you the only one? Because he's special. I can tell you what it thinks. Okay. It sounds a little arrogant, though. Oh. <laughs> it will be. It will, I will add it to the list. <laughs> But so far, you have come across as the picture of modesty. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it thinks I'm Sigmar Reborn. Oh, fucking Oh, that God. can't be true. Great. Well, we know Sigmar is Madria. Sigmar's so. just bullshit. It's just fucking bullshit. <laughs> Strike her down! It's <laughs> <laughs> <Just> not acceptable. <laughs> no, you'll be fine. Just follow it with Ulrich's grave. Fucking Andy Law. How bullshit. <laughs> it was him! It was him! <laughs> it's all no. come from him! But that's the point, it's different. I'm the only blessed priest in my order. There's never been a blessed priest in the Order of the Silver Flame before. There's only like trees. <laughs> no, there's, there's more than that. There's not many, but there's more than that. <laughs> the fate of the world rests in our hands. Us? So, six. So, actually, it makes sense that he's a proper purpose of Sigmar then because we probably need one. Yes. There are no coincidences after all. We've come to the conclusion. Yes. Thank you. There you go. So, nice one. Thanks. Maybe maybe yes on a priest of Sigmar. I don't think you could be pretty uh, Sigmar reborn. Oh, I don't particularly feel that like myself, but that's what it Do you think you would, you would know Sigmar reborn if you saw him? I don't well, understand because he's got no eyes. I no, you know what I mean. Obviously I don't understand how this thing oh, inside of you there? can oh, think, there, yeah. but not be a thing. Like, it doesn't I, think. You're in the queue. It doesn't think he knows. <laughs> Talk about Sigmar Reborn. He's using Sigmar Reborn. Quietly. And the Sigmar Reborn. Like Meanwhile, the elf is just spewing <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> the elf is having You're a just long. raging this at the sky. This is the second existential crisis of this week. <laughs> how do you think I feel? I prayed to that. And it came back. Do you know your faith is very strange? Because every time you do pray or think of you're doing something else, it's usually a demonic entity. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it tells you something about the gods, doesn't it? They don't care. Oh, they no. don't know us. They don't experience the world in any way that we do. Yeah. They don't care. Well, no, you say they don't care. It could just be that they are just everything. They are the other. Just, just all of it. Busy. They're all of it. So every god is technically a demon. Every demon is technically a god. Except maybe Sigma, who we all know was a man. Until he wasn't. Well, m- men can become demons, right? Okay, so vice versa, there you go. Done. That's all that it was then, if that's the case. People ahead of you go to the back of the queue. <laughs> <laughs> of course, just theoretically, theoretically, one's thinking about this. Really, everything's normal. Everything's normal right here. Very much looking forward hey, to the party. Hey, moved up the queue slightly. <laughs> Everything is normal. <laughs> um, I still can't get over it that you did that in outdoor. I know. The imperial capital. Huh? And the elves have left. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. But we don't know any of the rest of it, right? It doesn't matter. The no. intro stuff from today. No, no. all you when you're you were gone, it infected me. It tried to do a thing. It it prayed. The thing woke up. It got scared. It ran away. Oh, right. That's why I was sure it wasn't inside of me anymore. But I got maybe ruined didn't anyway. expect it to work, and then it did. Have you thought with your sword? Um, have you ever? Uh. In in and uh, I don't mean this in the most literal manner that it's going to sound like. But have you thought of trying it on yourself? Not as in, like fully stabbing. I mean, just like cut. I think I'm probably made of different stuff than the rest of you, so mm-hmm. I don't know if that would help. Remember what a dad said or a mother said about where well, she came from. Yes, I know, but also her um, mother was a bit. No, we never met your mum, did we? No, well, you've bit. met her in the past. I did. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't meet her. I was there. She's terrifying. She is. Her. Um, I sort of, again, felt very belief-y based, so I kind of took about 30% of what they were saying is true and I mean, the rest of it You saw is... what came out of her father, though, right? Yes. Well, I've seen you do things. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Elric creates fire from... Oh, I always sure. say nothing. I know it's not nothing. Yeah, but so we yeah, understand I, that. So, so, what came out of her father? You were there too, weren't you? Yes, but it wasn't looking right at me. Like flaming 
tiger thing. No, the tiger was Jiro. Hmm? Jiro was the tiger. Was he the tiger? Yes. Well, but the, you might have oh, been Jiro did the tiger. In my defense, I was yeah, yeah. like across the room at the time. Yes, <laughs> yes, that was it. Yeah. But what, what is... I, I don't understand anything. Because you've been spewing all inside. Well, if you're trying to talk, you've been. Look, what? Not realist, but what is what is the thing? I don't. This isn't my area. What is the what? The thing that's been walking. Is it like a monster? It's like a really under a sigma temple. Oh, Elric. Elric. It's what. It's what it's why I tried to speak to the Light College. Speak to the Light College. Oh, I I didn't tell you this. I tried to get a message to um a Light Magister because I had also surmised that the same thing that he found was in Alpha. Right. Right. Did I not tell you that I have a relative in the Light College? Yes, that's why I was trying to get a message to a Grunfeld in the Light College. You didn't think to come to me. No, I I was in Alto. Was, you were away. Yeah, okay. It was when we were in Alto. It's you know a lot of decorators, <laughs> painters. Painters. <laughs> He's gonna start banging anything. <laughs> Just the people go by. Oh. <laughs> it's the greatest power of what we saw in Bergen Alto. Mm-hmm. That's what's just woken up oh. physically in Alto. So that's. So that's and yes, yeah. exactly. Yes. You know, you should be be sick. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, the but thing no. is, most, or pretty much all my family have left Altor. Okay. So there is no one to stop it. Well, we're, <laughs> there may be a lot of us, but we're not. We're not up to stopping. Um, it needs everybody. But but they this, they can't stay around for long, right? Like there is a chance that it's it just gone disappears. Back. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. Like you can't stay it's not physical. great, but not greater. What did you say about it? To free it is to move it. To move it is to what was it you said? Move it somewhere. <laughs> I'd have to consult my memory. And as our <laughs> glorious heroes make their way through the queue slowly, others shedding off <laughs> occasionally to left and to right to hike it to the back and get away from these. Lunatic. Interesting people. It's a new play we're working on. <laughs> Yay, the Bardic Bunny. <laughs> we, 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 are we late for the Mummer Improv? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're, that what we're going for. Um, standing up in the battlements looking down is four people. One of whom is watching the, it would be unfair to call them bickering, but they're most certainly discussing glorious heroes. <clears throat> ah! says the raven on his shoulder as he says yes I do oh. and with his hand on a book he looks down they have been busy to the side a man says oh, they're all going to cause us problems no they're going to cause you Problems, my lord. <laughs> you do not need my advice any longer, says. I have other. You can't go anywhere. I will not lose what you offer. I'm sorry, my lord. Other people require my advice, he says. Good day. And his hand shoots out, grabs him by the throat. <coughs> and across the way, a guard says, Hey, up! And the man squeezes and lets him go. I'm going to fucking kill you. Yes. Many have tried. <laughs> he says, many have tried. Good day, my lord. As he rubs his throat and makes his way down the stairs. Shit, 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 shit. Who the fuck are they? Who the fuck are they? 
He looks out over. Why is my daughter here? At the back of the queue, Lady Marguerite. And that's where we draw our episode to an end. <laughs>